great side as Cavity's cleared out that shot. Fail! What's up? Another day, another OTA. See, see what I did there? I'll tell you about it. Where is, I'm telling you right now, you got to get them rhymes together early in the day in order to come in with them right about now. Where's my boy? Oh, God. Have you been in here, little guy with a daughter? Anyway, fam, I know I'm late. <laughs> I noticed I try to I try to get around that for a moment. My apologies. Will not happen again. This day. <laughs> Tavarius Moore is currently taking snaps at free safety. As if the managers are watching us here. How long have we been crying about that? There's a reason for it. The OTAs were a nice show today from the view of just about every reporter and observance. Except, of course, Grant Cohn's always got his little ouchies here and there. But otherwise, it's pretty much a unanimous. The 49ers did a good job today, low TAs. Uh, but the 2018 third-round pick, Tavares Moore, who was a success in free safety in the college ranks while at Southern Miss, but for reasons unknown, was moved to the cornerback position with the 49ers upon arriving at Santa Clara. I guess because we had a lot, well, we had a lot of safeties back when Tavares first came in, though. Uh, but it, it is now, uh, he's lined up as a reserve free safety behind Adrian Colbert. Uh, and that was done today due to injuries at the position, of course. And that according to Robert Sala. As we all know, last week presumptive starter Jimmy Ward, notice that presumptive starter, that's <laughs> Broke his collarbone in practice. In addition to DJ Reed is out until training camp after undergo undergoing uh, offseason shoulder surgery. Salah said no decision about Moore's full-time position in 2019 has been made. He suggested he could stick at safety if he plays well during offseason uh, practices. He did add, though, we'll cross that bridge when we get to training camp. Uh, that's something we love about Tavarius Moore. We drafted him knowing he uh, has great versatility where he can play corner and safety. Uh, with him being back there at safety, uh, these OTAs, if he lights it up, safety, we'll see it. Unquote, trial is on. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Now, you know I'm a J-Dub dude, right? But I cannot wait to see what he looks like at the free safety. Because this guy was ranked the number two uh, free safety in the nation. That had to mean something. I can't believe the 49ers are waiting just till now to check that out. Hey, we got, hey, we got Tavari Smart. What are we going to do with it? Make him a corner. Okay, uh, but don't get too excited about that, fam. Just yet, Ward's latest injury doesn't appear to have changed the 49ers thinking about his potential as the starter. Ward has signed uh, a, a one-year contract, as you know, largely because he finished four of his first five NFL seasons on injured reserve. Oh, my God. With broken bones. That is a really scary thing. I mean, I'm gonna, I, know, I'm, I even wonder how I can expect anything different, but I'm not alone on this. Check Robert's Bobby Sell. You know, he's, when, when, he's, when I like him a lot, he's Bobby Sell. Sell says, if you're ever going to take a risk on somebody, he's the guy. He says, I have faith that he's going to stay healthy this season. I do. You're probably going to think I'm crazy, but something good is about to happen for him, and that's going to be 2019. Unquote, Bobby Salas got faith in the ward child as I do, too. Come on, Jimmy! Diving for a ball with no pads. I'll use it. Where were you thinking? Dang it! That could have been avoided so easily. But that's the way he is. He's going 100 miles an hour all the time and doesn't realize there's times when you leap for the ball and there's times when you stand back and wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah. <sighs> But Rob, Bobby Salas, a member of the D-Dub bunch, <laughs> more has moved to safety. Might explain why the 49ers added a cornerback this week, especially we're talking about Dante Johnson. The same Dante Johnson we remember from two years ago? Yeah, they do. It's the same guy from 2014 to 2017. Uh, he started with 16 games in 2017, but struggled painfully in Channy's first season as a head coach and was given his exit papers at the end of that particular season. He's back. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. We should both drink to that. I imagine, you know what, I, you got to figure, fam, it's got to be about being camp meat. All right? I, I can't imagine. Is he going to make this team? Nah, I don't see that. 
49ers held the second open practice in OTAs on today, and uh, there was plenty of plays on both sides of the football to write home about. But, fam, try not to overreact on these things, positively or negatively. As you know, to what happens during uh, OTAs, it's really not a healthy thing to do. Uh, these things can change. But we'll just run down through them, just, just, just for the fun of, of having a picture to, to, to imagine what's going on out there. Anyway, George Kittle lit up things. He had three contested uh, touchdown catches during red zone work. And this is very important. And this is probably where he's going to evolve to next. Two were quick slants at the goal line. One from Jimmy G. And the other from Nick Mullins. Kittle's third touchdown reception was a full extension grab in the back middle of the end zone. Are they wearing? I wish these guys. Stop diving. Stop. There's no diving without pads. He's a ball player, though, man. You know, you can't get them to stop doing what they do. Tevin Coleman showcased his speed during the first full team drill. He took a stretch play to the right, got the corner, and turned up on the Jets, up on the sideline. A few of his teammates reacted to Coleman's top end speed on the carry. 49ers expect Coleman to be an explosive part of the offense of 2019. In other words, he was, <laughs> bye, y'all! Ball is connected with Kittle and Debo Samuel on deep throws uh, to the left during the first team period. Samuel took off of the right sideline on the jet sweep in the same drill. The rookie has been active in both open practices thus far and kicking butt. They didn't write uh, that. That's not part. <laughs> Richard Sherman nearly picked off Mullins on a throw towards Dante Pettis on the right sideline. Sherman jumped it perfectly, but bobbled it briefly before regaining control. After practice, Sherman said he did indeed keep his heels on the other bounds, but for Sherm. There are no flags in OTAs, Rich. Shut it! <laughs> David Mayo had a fantastic 7-on-7 seven seven red zone period. Uh, the linebacker almost made a diving interception. These guys are still diving. Coach, tell these guys to stop diving until we put on pads. Good God, that's scary. Anyway, he's, he's a rookie. He's got David Mills out there diving. He almost made a diving interception of a Mullins pass intended for Ross Dwelly on the very next snap. Mayo tipped another pass. And, there, and this time from Mullins to Kendrick Bourne. <laughs> Mullins straightened up his neck, pulled himself together. Mullins rebounded the same drill with a back-to-back -back touchdown pass to Bourne and Dwelly, respectively, and told Mayo, Hey, Rook! Know your role and shut your mouth. And that was the end of that. <laughs> the defense overall was very stout. The red zone of both full team had seven on seven periods. There were several would be sacks due to coverage and due to the pass rush getting home. Oh, my God, I love the thought of that. The pass rush. Woo! D Ford showed off that first step quickness. And Elijah Lee blitzed up the middle into the backfield and Jakoski chart. Otherwise known as Kwaski T broke up a pass in the back of the end zone. Marcel Harris was another defensive back who had a near interception. And there was an obvious ju oh, there was obvious juice on both sides of the football uh today. Defense was chirping after every single play they made, and the offense was sure to celebrate every touchdown. This is the kind of thing. I like hearing about because that means everybody's taking it personal as to how we go do today. We're on team, we're offense, we're defense. Let's take it to them. I love it. It all had the feeling of a fun, productive, and competitive practice, OTA standards. Uh, C.J. Bethard also threw a touchdown to Kyle Juice on a play-action pass from five yards out. Bethard also hit Dwelly for a five-yard touchdown. And Garoppolo closed back with a long completion in the middle of the field to Pettis and Bourne before one final touchdown. Uh, this one to Jordan Matthews in the back right corner of the end zone. Booyah! Niners! Mm. <laughs> Are we going to put up my little Girl, hi, Olisa. I see you in there. <laughs> Check her out. <laughs> Is she adorable or what? <laughs> Daddy Speedy Battle and little Lisa. Boy, I love y'all, I tell you. Lisa, how you doing, little girl? Between 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 dad 
and Uncle Ron, boy, we go, we, her Uncle Ron, we, we, we go make her. That baby's going to be the most hardcore 49er fan in the planet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got stuff for you, Lisa. By the time you're 10 years old, your 49ers going to have at least two championships. Yeah. Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. Hey, so let's jump on over here. And, hey, fam, thanks for sending that to us, Sharon. I really appreciate that. <laughs> we have Jerry Fresh show how to do. Jerry, Jerry Fresh, man, bring, come on in here and demonstrate how you do. Love it. What's up, Niner Empire? Fresh. Jerry Fresh here with Wombo Sports. Just a reminder, go ahead and download the Wombo Sports app from the App Store. Wombo Sports is giving you, the fan, an opportunity to have your voice heard on the show. Whether that's a question for Wombo, a shout-out to the 49er Faithful, or a suggestion for the next video, this is your chance to have your voice heard. Simply open the Wombo Sports app, Click the menu icon in the top left hand corner to access a list of options. Scroll down to the submission tab and voila, you're there. Once you're at submissions, go ahead and select the record a video option. From there, you record a short video and you're all set. Remember to keep it clean, short, and sweet. Well that's it for me. Thanks for listening to Niner Empire. I'm Jerry Fresh and this is Rumble Sports. Go Niners! Thanks, Fresh! <laughs> My boy, Jerry. Uh, and Mr. Robot says, uh, more to safety, I'm juiced. <laughs> Local 49ers fan, Arizona has no... <laughs> every, time I, every time I see him on the call, he, he leaves his comment on a daily basis, and Arizona fans need to know their place. He says, Lo he says Arizona fans, Arizona has no fans or paid spectators. A group of the J-Dub bunch is more fans. <laughs> And we're not a large group either. Not yet anyway, but we will be. We will be. Mr. Instigator's in the house. Otherwise known as Justin, he says, How you doing, Rod Bowl? Rough day for me, positive vibes. Hey, Justin, it'll get better, man. You know, sometimes going into the evening, it's still part of the same day. It gets better and better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and John Dalvin, I've not seen in a long time. So I'm in the Ghost Thomas is fired up in OTAs. How about being fired up in regular season? You know, I got a feeling that, you know what? Solomon Thomas is now probably thinking to himself, they went and got, God, they got Bosa over here. They got D Ford over here. I'm standing next to Pro Bowl <laughs> D Ford uh, Buckner. I guess I need to do something about this, man. I can't be out here made be looking bad. Eric Armstead is coming on strong. I got to do something right now. These guys are going to push each other to the next level. You can see it coming this year. Easy the third with Swerd. Oh! Niners, fam! Uh, Jay Anderson, what's up? Rep 804, Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia, Jay Anderson, what's up? G Giovanni Diaz, what's up? Give me a shout out, please. I'm ripping the Niners from out here in Lexington, Kentucky. Giovanni! What's up, fam? Dwayne Creek, let's get this started. Jay Anderson, what up? Serge G, what's up? <laughs> oh man, I dare. It's getting closer we get to, to preseason games. I tell you, man, it's gonna get I know you're gonna be beside yourself, man. I can't I can't even relax no more. Man, time I think about that defense, man. I I'm actually getting more excited about the defense now that I have the offense. I already knew the offense was gonna be fine. But I've we've not seen an outstanding defense since when? Oh my god. Oh <sighs> Dre, let me calm down here and let you on the phone. <laughs> Trey, man, what's up with it, Rombo? Oh, man, hey man. man, hey man. You know, I talked to my uncle, man. He talked to Kendrick's bro, man. You know, all of these Richie James fans are talking that shit, man. Richie was so horrible today in OTAs that the motherfucker ain't even get listed in 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 the do's and the don'ts, man. They, they, the dude had four targets, zero catches. But my boy Kendrick Airborne, you you, you, know, you see what he did, man. Oh, he I caught a ball at the fifty yard line. He caught a ball, man. It was it was a fifteen and in, you know. That's classic <laughs> Terry Rice shit, you know that hey, nine Dre, that nine route or that fifteen and in. Oh man, Dre, oh, you man. Richie, caught the ball. 
You talking about Richie James? Richie James. <laughs> yeah, <it's> trash. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, is there, know, Jay, just ask one question real quick. Is there an argument going on between as to who should be added to the roster between Richie James and Kendrick Boyd? Yeah, I'm man. not mad across y'all, these y'all people talking yet. About, man, y'all, yeah, man, there's a few people that said a dude who had, a, I think he had a, a total of 113 yards to a dude who was second in reception, second in yardage, and, and second in uh, receiving touchdowns, you know, rip, but he going to beat him out, man. <laughs> man, look, man, Kendrick caught a ball to 50-yard line after the 15 and then, man, and blazed it up the field. The boy didn't got faster over the, over the season, man, you know what I'm saying, over the summer. Man, boy, nobody even touched the boy, you know Big Show saying? just passed out. Big Show, get up off the floor, man. I told you about this, and, pay, and I want my jersey this yeah, year, man. Show. All right, go ahead, Dre. All, all, all of that, yeah, talking all that shit, man. Yeah, <laughs> man, only uh, – I'm happy to see that. You know, I'm I'm happy to see that uh, Kittle is, is uh, grabbing passes in the red zone. Mm. I'm happy to see that Jordan Matthews and Kendrick Kendrick and Kittle all, all had touchdowns in the red zone because, you know, we struggled in the red zone last year. Man, but the player of the day was Kevin Coleman, though. Bro, look. The boy mm. on the first time the boy the boy touched the ball, bro. It it, it was a zone read to the to the right side on the edge, man. Broke free for seventy yards, and, and it was a touchdown because you know how, how 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 when you're playing in shorts, when you get close to the guy, you let up a little bit. Yeah. Nobody was even close to him. In Nobody was even place. close to him. But man, boy looked like Bo Jackson running up the field. Took him twenty five <laughs> yards to slow down. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. It's looking real Dre, good. we got two of those though, yeah. because last year heard the same thing. About McKinnon. It's people got to realize with speedsters, if Shanahan puts you in position to do that and you got that kind of speed, you go hurt somebody. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. Most definitely, man. Yeah. The, the only thing that uh the, that bothered me is, uh, and one of the write ups that said that uh, uh, D Ford struggled to set the edge, but it's like, bro, you're not, you're not playing to set the edge. And because because when you set the edge, you're going to have to create contact. Like he's not going to create contact and have like a fuck up and possibly hurt one of our running backs. So of course he's going to let up when he when he gets to the edge Good and he knows that he could touch him. You know what I mean? So he mm. of course he's going to let up and get the guy let the guy go around the edge. But on this write up, it said uh, D four struggled struggled to set the edge. Uh, if this is going to be a problem all year, it's like bro, <laughs> hold on, pump your is brakes. That you know it's May. This yeah, Grant one. yeah I Grant knew Cohen it. Wrote I didn't read yeah, Grant because he depresses me. I don't read him this. Yeah. I wait until later. But well, right now, well, Grant, he's the one who came up with the list of the dudes, the, the goods and the, the goods and the not goods. You know what I mean? The, where I he know. had the he sectioned off eleven goods and eleven not goods, and on the bottom list of the eleven not goods, it said that even though he created pressure. He struggled to set the edge, but it's like you set the edge when you can make contact with the running back, and you're not. You're, it's like it's no contact right now. You know what I mean? It's seven on seven, mm-hmm. eleven on eleven with mm-hmm. with no pads. Mm-hmm. So you know, and he's designated course, to, to, edge, to go after the pass anyway, Dre. You know what? If it's a running yeah. play, okay, it's time to set the edge. I you <laughs> right? Okay, you, okay, right. This let Grant go. Yeah, but but my whole thing is this though, bro. Like. I just want you to kill the quarterback. That's it, bro. Mm-hmm. Kill the quarterback, and if there's a running back in the way, knock his fucking helmet off. That's all mm-hmm. I want you to do. Mm-hmm. We got Quan, Drake Greenlaw, and 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 uh and Warner to go catch the running back on the edge. I mean, mm-hmm. it's cool and all. That's great. You know what yeah. I mean? If you set the edge, but and then, then again, you know, Bosa and and Defo and Armstead, like those aren't slow guys. Because our yeah. starting our starting front four rotation today was uh D Ford, uh uh uh, it was D Ford. Buckner, Armstead, and Ronald Blair. And Kentavia Street looks like a man child, bro. Did you see how big this dude is without pads, bro? He been look, you oh know what DeForest God. Buckner calls him, right? He calls him Baby Hulk. <laughs> hey, my man, this dude is so wide. You know what I'm saying? And and, and Solomon, Solomon was looking good, too, man. It, it looked like he gained a good 15, 20 pounds at least, bro. And this is just from... A bird's eye view. I know I'm watching it on 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 uh on, on a on a phone screen or a computer screen, but yeah. when he he drops down into that four stance and he has both arms on the ground, I mean mm. you could just see you, see, you can see the triceps. Bro, you can see. I was looking. Oh my, them triceps look like they five six inches off his arm, man. That guy's humongous, bro. That guy's He's serious? humongous, man. He's serious. I, this I'm year. excited about. The, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited about the front four, man. Just knowing you can have. 
you know, Contavious or, or Ronald Blair or, or, or you could, you know, you can rotate with Solly or, you know, you could, you, you could put Armstead in the D, D tackle and then you could, you could put him on the outside and have yeah. Contavious or, or Ronald Blair or, or have D Ford and, and, and Armstead on the same side, uh, at Armstead, uh, playing defensive tackle and then, uh, you, you know what I mean? Like, they're going to play with it, bro. T- today no they had, today, it. today, bro, today they had DeForest Buckner playing on the edge, bro. It yeah, was, it was, it was D Ford on the, on the right edge. Yeah. Yes. D Ford on the right edge. Then it was Ronald Blair and he was switching out with Contavious Street. And then it yeah. was, uh, 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 Eric Armstead. And then you had, uh, D Fall on the outside. So D Fall and Armstead was playing on the same side and they were rotating. This is going to be crazy, Experiment. bro. Experiment. Look at this. This is and, going and Drake, to be crazy. And, and, and before we go, did you hear what I actually, uh, Adrian Colbert said, and comes, I wish he wouldn't yeah. have said it, though. But Adrian Colbert's standing there saying, uh, yeah, yeah, you're kind of giving it away. Yeah, yeah like, Adrian, don't so give this up. Year, you know? Yeah, man, like, come on, bro. <laughs> but this year, this year, instead of playing that one high, we're, we're disguising the defense to where we're having both both strong safety and, and uh, free safety and, and playing uh, – not playing in the zone, but mm. playing down in the box. Mm. So it's confu- – it, it, it basically – it, it confused our quarterbacks today. Everybody was 50%. Uh, Jimmy G was uh, 11 for 20. Uh, uh, Becker was 6 for 9. And then uh, Nick Mullins was 5 for 10. Yeah. And it was to the point to where our guys were standing in one place trying to find an open receiver because – coming out to the ball, they couldn't distinguish who was the free safety or the strong safety because both guys were playing in the box. <laughs> so it's, it's – man, hey, Salah – man, look I've here, been bruh. trying to tell people Salah's not bruh. an idiot. He just ain't had nothing bruh. to work with. <laughs> bruh. Great. Bruh, and, and then Sherman was locking lock, – Sherman, Sherman was uh, locking down uh, – <laughs> <laughs> was locking down old Dante Pettis, man. I know Dante. Four, man. That's good, he, too. He, he was on see, his ass like white on rice. You know what I'm talking and, about? And remember, Richard Sherman is not the norm. Richard Sherman oh, my is God. elite pro He's jumping Bowl passes. Hall of Fame material. Dante can work anybody else. He's jumping passes, bro. You know? Yeah, he's jumping passes again. Like, that's what I'm happy to hear about. Yes. He gave they say he gave Dante 7 to 10 yards cushion and still jumped the pass and basically had an interception, but his feet wasn't – he bobbled the – it would have been an interception, but he bobbled it. You know he what I mean? He said he was so in he balance, caught it when he stepped – yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't you know how rich that. is. You know he got the we got, Yeah, we got, yeah, we got you know how Sherman is. It would have been a challenge on that one. But hey, man, I know it's a lot of people. I'm, you know, I, I'm 100 miles per hour because I'm really excited. You know what I mean? Uh, I know it's a lot of people who want to talk tonight, man. I just wanted to get in and uh, yeah. say that I'm happy that you know we had three guys, you know, with with uh, multiple. Well, we had two guys with multiple touchdowns. You know, uh, 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 Kittle had three. You know, uh, Kendrick had two. You know, and it, it was on various different routes. One in the red zone. One in the middle of the field, like six, seven yard touchdown. Mm. Uh, happy to hear that Tevin Coleman is coming along. Our mm. defensive line rotations are great, and the way that they're going to disguise the defense, man, is it, just a lot of good stuff. It's, it's going to be great play, stuff, so. Dre. All right, Dre. Yeah, we yeah, gonna, man. We're going to let everybody I'll, get in here. And I'll see you Friday, huh? Hey, man, you know you're going to see me Friday. Hey, shout out to my TNT fan, Big Show, you know, Trey Trez. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my, my, my player partner, Will, uh, Sheik, you know, uh, Nighthawk, everybody, man. Hey, press that X. Stop getting them Twitter fingers. Go ahead and press that like real quick. Then get back to your Twitter fingers. Thing. I'm Thanks, out. Thanks, I appreciate that, fam. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> uh, and Big Show, while you're buying my jersey, you might have to get one for Dre, too, man. Dre's on the Kendrick Bourne team as well. Hey, Pedro! Pedro Flores is what up? Add another person to your jinked up fan club. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. Zaman, not worried about his injury. He should be good to go when the season starts. I have a good feeling he's going to show out. It's You put, like Koski said today in the presser, Akello said in the presser, everybody knows your secondary. Everybody keeps saying, we're a secondary, secondary. It's like they all agreed. And I've been and everybody that's ever played in the secondary. If the quarterback's got all dang day to throw the ball, it puts you at a disadvantage. 
And they all of them said the same thing. Yeah, it makes a lot of difference when you got like two seconds as opposed to about four or five seconds, see, because that way I can play fast, I can make my move, I can jump. But if I got to wait for four or five seconds for that reset, I got to watch the quarterback, I got to watch that defensive line struggle, I got to wait for that ball to come out by the time that all happened as wide receivers. You know, it goes on and on. There are links involved as to why the secondary struggles. It's not because every guy in the secondary sucks. It's the defensive front line. These things have to work together. I'm loving it. And it will this year. I got it. Oh, oh. And they're all excited about the front line defense, too. Now, Rich says, I'm not surprised Peter was cut. Um, I've been saying he was gone this season. Yeah. You know, he's, I, I still, they never, you know, Rich, they never, we never saw him in action. I just wish I could have seen once him coming off the uh, edge in a meaningful game. I I'm not sure about that. But you know what? This year, in accordance to if you get a grade on the curve, yeah, I guess Peter would be the odd man out, though. Rico Style says, I was waiting for you all day. <laughs> oh, thanks, fam. Much love to the Light Empire. Much love to Rico. <laughs> Jordan Kelly. What's up, Jordan? Uh, Chad Garris says, long time no see. Been missing the show because of work. Glad I caught you tonight. Chad, glad you could, too, man. Call on in, huh? Paul Salvi, too bad <laughs> we started off with bedtime here on these. Oh, Paul, I'm sorry, man. We'll have you back fire. I guarantee we will not be late. Will! Out in L.A. Come on, Bo. What's going on? Oh, Will, man, I'm sitting here. It's like everybody knows, don't, don't get excited, no T.A.'s. What, you know what? You know what I really did get excited about, though. Other than just the plays and Tevin Coleman out there wearing people out with that speed, I said, "Man, y'all got to stop diving for the ball." Will they got to stop diving for the ball, man? Y'all ain't wearing no pads. They forget. You know how it is. You play ball, you forget. But you ain't got no pads on this OTAs. Keep your feet on the ground, man. I'm. If I hear about one more guy going down like Jimmy Ward because he was diving for a ball unnecessarily, man, I think I'm going to lose my mind. Well, what are you thinking tonight? Well, man, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Shout out to my player partner, Dre. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, uh, I, I, saw the, I saw the Grant uh, Cone uh, Periscope report he had on And, uh, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of good things he said, man, about how you know what they were doing out there today. They, uh, the one thing that he said was they cut out the uh, – the uh, one-on-ones, you know, with the D linemen and the DBs and receivers, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to do that right now during OTA, so you don't want to pull any muscles, you don't mm, want to break smart. anything or turn. Yeah, so they did, you know, they uh, they cut that out, so that was an improvement. Um, man, I heard the defense was doing good. Man, I heard there was a lot of breakups in the in the uh, in the red zone, and I and it also uh, said that uh, they did a lot of man. Uh, more man in the red zone now instead of zone, so that's that's good too because with the defensive front that we got now, you can run man to man, stay with your guy, and as soon as the ball, as soon as the ball release, you there, you there to pick the ball off if you you know if you play good coverage. So mm-hmm. they played a lot of man. They said uh, said uh, Tart Tart had a PBU, uh, Marcia Harris, which is Sherman had a PBU, uh, but they but I heard they was they was uh they was catchable. So they came. So this season they can't be dropping interceptions, man. You know, mm. if, you, if 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 your hands hit the ball, you better catch it. So and, and I they, heard they, they talked about that last year too. Don't don't you got them opportunities? They ain't gonna be happening every day. You better secure that catch instead of trying to run with the ball. Catch it first. Yeah, man. Yeah, I heard a lot of was a lot of catchable balls they could have picked off today. So they need to even sure. they make sure they clean that up. Wow. Right. Yeah. Uh, offensive side of the ball, man. Oh yeah, I'm also I'm also glad to hear that uh, Kawan Alexander could be uh, back for training camp. So I read that. Look like his ACL. Yeah, I heard the ACL going well, man. Cause we need that man on the field. Oh. You know what I'm saying? That he 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 he's one of those guys that can that can turn over the ball and get the offense back out there to score some more points. So I'm glad I'm glad I'm, uh, that I heard that he's gonna be back out there for uh, the training camp. So mm-hmm. I'm glad of that. And, Offense, and, 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 man. And we'll- I, and Will, ain't you also glad to hear about my boy J Dub will be back in time for training camp? <laughs> nah, nah, good, good, good for him. Good for him. Good for him. Well, I love to bring his good name for up. him. Just show me, just 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 show me some when he when you come back, James. But uh, anyway, 
uh, offense, man, uh, <laughs> offense did pretty good. I heard Jimmy G went off today. You know, he threw some yeah. uh, couple uh, touchdown passes. You know, uh, Tevin Coleman. Uh, man, like I said, man, I'm a big Tevin Coleman fan, bro. Oh, he's man. He's, he's gonna be. I, I, I can if, tell he's gonna be awesome. If, if he starts week one, man, I, I'm a, I love it because because I, I, I like the way he. Uh, I like his speed. I like his power. I like the way he he breaks tackles and, and he can you know uh, fit those little tight you know them tight windows. He can run through. You know what I'm saying? He real dynamic. So uh, I'm pretty sure he gonna. I, I I've been thinking he was gonna start all along because you know they ain't gonna put Jake out there that early. You know mm-hmm. they're gonna try to ease his way in. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because you know they want to make sure that his knee is real taken care of. So I mm-hmm. so if Coleman start, man, I, I'm all for it. I believe Coleman's gonna have a have a breakout year. With Kyle Shanahan, so and uh, Coleman should start. I, and, and you know what? Well, no matter what, you, you don't have to worry about Coleman's minutes. He'll get plenty because uh, Shanahan's playbook. We've only seen chapter. We might still be in the preface because he did not run everything last year. Everybody knows that Shanahan's got so much more to offer than what we've seen. He kept it so with the players he had. As far as their capabilities go, that's what Shanahan was applying from the playbook. This year, ain't no limits. Ain't no limits. Yeah, everybody come back healthy, man, starting week one, man. We're going to see a lot of stuff that Kyle Shanahan has, uh, haven't put out on the field yet. We're going to see a mm-hmm. lot of different plays, man. We're going to be having – he's going to be putting so much formations out there. We're going to be like, what the hell is that? Uh-huh. And, you know what I'm saying? And, uh-huh. and, and it's going to benefit, and we're going to score points off of it. Uh, like I said, man, as long as that uh, defense, that, that uh, D Ford, Bosa, all them boys are straight getting to that getting to that quarterback man and giving us that ball, man, we should we shouldn't have no excuses of not scoring any points. Mm-hmm. Especially with the punter. The punter that we got, Matt Mayoko said that the punter went off today. He said the the punter was six for six I read that. putting the ball in inside the ten the ten yard line. And three of them and, and uh I think three of his punts was uh, at the three yard line. <laughs> Man, he, look. That's what he does. This is why when people got booing and carrying on, they didn't know what they was booing about, Will. They did not know. This is not an everyday average kicker. This dude can ruin another team's chances for four quarters. I can't wait. Yeah, man. I It ain't written. I ain't, I ain't going to. I'm going to say it, but I ain't going to have it written in stone. But this punter may be the next. Andy Lee. I mean, I don't know. Uh, he, he might be the best thing since Andy Lee. but uh, He may be better than Andy Lee because Andy was good. From, from the stats. Yeah. Go I mean, I mean, from the stats that I heard today from Matt Mayoko about this punter, I got a good feeling about him, man. If this man can give the defense short yardage for the offense and we can go ahead and, man, get them safeties mm-hmm. or at least just stop them to where they can, they, can, they can put the ball back to us and we get decent, uh, you know, decent field position, Mm. Man, I I I, I say it's, it, was, it was a good pick. You know, hey, it was a good know. pick. They, 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 he, he can put that ball anywhere he wants to with his feet. With his feet, <laughs> he yeah, uses man, them like so. his hands. God, I love it. But yeah, yeah. One more thing. One thing before I get out, because I know other callers wait. Uh, yeah. Dante Johnson, man, look, man, he ain't, he he a camp body. He ain't no oh, but camp body. I forgot if they if they wanted Don, if they wanted if they really wanted Dante Johnson, Would've they wouldn't have cut him in the first place. Yep. Right. Or so, when it went they, and got him weeks ago. Dante's been available. Shoot. Will Dante's been available as long as we've been available since. Shoot. I mean, Dante left. I didn't even know he left Seattle. <laughs> but, you know? So now all of a sudden there he is. That's camp meat. No doubt about it. Yeah. That's all. And, and, uh, and to my boy James, I'm sorry, man, but they let Peter go, dog. They let your man go. I know. I know you've been promoting him. He got picked up today, though, by. Uh, Cardinals. Cardinals. Yeah. Yeah. So. I wish him luck. He's a good guy. All right. All right, Will. I'll see you Friday, huh? All right, man. I already know what it is, man. Shout out to TNT, man. My boy Dre, you know, Trez and Trey, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Big show. You know, Sheik, you know what I'm saying? Not the Empire, man. Fuck the Rams. Fuck Rudy. They <laughs> lost and they broke. <laughs> good night, Will. Looking forward to hearing from you shortly. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I, you know, it's so funny. I always tend to blank out. I don't think about Robbie Gold, although he was at a, an event recently that he is in town. I thought Robbie was like hanging out back in the Chicago area, moping and 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 and, and mouth all stuck out because the 49ers won't let him go. 
And also, you never hear me talk about Malcolm Smith unless somebody brings up his name. And now Dante Johnson's in the house, and I find it worrisome. You know what I'm saying? By the way, Tyler, out in the... uh, Tyler, give us a call. You know, I'm a little concerned about you because I haven't heard from you in days. I'm not seeing you on social media. I know those tornadoes are ripping through your area a lot. So, Tyler, concerned, man. If you're watching, l- let me know what's going on. What's going on with you? Are you okay? All right. Uh, is Michael Schroeder says, I think more will shine, Farrell. <laughs> I, I hope he does because that dude, he can play. That's 6 3, that 4 3. Adam Lynn says, We moved to safety more from safety to cornerback. I then moved cornerback Reed uh, to <laughs> safety. Kicked him in the natural positions, please. I know, right? What is with this? Not as I'm not as you like diversity, though. They probably interview these kids before they bring them in, and they say, "You think you'd like to move to uh, another position? If we ask you to move to another position, you think you'd handle that?" You know, and the kids will go, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah." He just wants to be drafted. You know, uh, Rico says, "I see you on the J Dub thing. Hopefully, he comes back healthy and prove everybody wrong." We're nine are faithful, so let's let's chill, keep it faithful. Yes, and Tyler says Tyler Bear, more to safety. That's why we got Johnson for cornerback. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's pretty much what everybody b- believes. Uh, the only reason why Johnson's in there is because Jimmy went down, and, uh, and they're going to move more to safety. So they need somebody else to play that position. Salvador Barbisca. He says DJ Jones looks ready to start at defensive tackle. Oh, very explosive. Oh, man. Because DJ knows, man, ain't no half-stepping this year. We got dogs now, man. We got big dogs. If you want to be a part of this, you better step it up. Anthony Baker says, what's up from Memphis? Man, you're the best. You need it. All. <laughs> Thanks, Anthony. So, so far, Good to see Memphis. Memphis is every. Yeah. Justin. Let's see who's yeah. talking to. I said, catch me with candid conversations. Like we thought, who was that? James the other day was talking to his wife. Is that Jess? Uh Uh, Justin. No. I start June 24th. Oh, Oh, whoops, my bad. (laughs) (laughs) Justin, man, what's going on, man? I was I was I was I was I was trying to eavesdrop and I couldn't I couldn't make out what was going on, man. Oh, we were uh, we were talking me and everyone were talking about the tornadoes um in Missouri right now that are being yeah, so those are really scary. I do want to say, for the people that had their lives lost, 141 people were um, had their lives cut short because of tornadoes. And uh, oh, I, I, for, I don't want I don't want to misquote. I think, it was, I think it was Oklahoma. I'm not sure. I don't want to misquote, but I know 141 people were gone because of that. And I do want to pay a little tribute to them because mm. that is something that you can't control. But it is very sad to hear about that a lot. Because mm. so, the say, thing is, there's no. You can't evacuate on a tornado because nobody knows where they're going to set down. Yeah. They don't know what path they're going to take. That is such a frightening experience. You got to sit there, and you heard about them, but those things happen within minutes, and you do not have time to react. That is nature's most yeah. scariest evil. My yeah. God. Anyway, yeah. However, prayers there's out to good, those there was in good those news areas. On social media. There was good news on social media, though. There was good news on social media. Uh, our punter got locked out of his car. Um, and apparently, Fort Fortner at that's on Instagram posted about it. A car dealership got a hold of that and got him a new car. I got him a new SUV. So wait a minute, wait a minute. As in the new SUV. Well, yeah. I saw that photo of him posing with uh, somebody at the dealership. Is that was a dealer? Uh, he just yeah. bought a new Jeep. Hey, wait a minute. What'd you say happened to him before? Mm-hmm. What happened he, to his he car? He got locked out of his car. He got locked out of his car. That's all. Yeah. And he got yeah, a brand new car for that. Was, yeah, because it was like an older car, I think, an older. Oh like, yeah, maybe. Older, yeah. Like, was a, that was like in 2007, probably one of those older cars. So I if he, he got hooked wonder, up now. He's, yeah. he's good to go. Good I to saw go. that. I saw that. Good to go. He, he deserves it. Yeah. Putting that power like social media, man. Yeah. Oh it. yeah. Power social media, and he's doing good at practice. I'm hearing. Oh. Ten, ten punts inside the six yard line. <laughs> I see why we took him at fourth round. <laughs> And he doesn't, he's not going to get weak under pressure. I can tell right now. He was doing that at Utah. And he puts that ball up so high in the air that no matter who you are, if you think you're going to run the ball by the time it gets down, you have like five or six 49ers standing there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Make my day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 hey, 
Hey, if he's anything like Pat McAfee for the like the Annapolis Colts, when he you see Pat McAfee, man, he is too. Same he thing. was a good punter, man. That guy, mm. that guy was a that guy was clutch every single time, making throws, making throws against that Steelers game, like getting rid of the ball, you know, barely getting almost getting it blocked and somehow getting the punt off. Oh man, he he does Damn. it all. So if anything, if he's anything like him, you know, we got we got to steal, we got to steal. Yeah. Got a steal. This, this guy, is, we've not even seen what he's capable of. All I know is he's famous for putting the ball where he wants to. So if he, can, if he wants to put that ball inside the 10-yard line, you can better believe he's going to get it in there. And also, if he doesn't <laughs> want to punt it and the defense is playing slack, he's gone. That's a first down coming <laughs> up. I like this guy. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But just and man, I love guys. The- Show up in, in, in OTAs today, both offensively and defensively. We had your boy Mullins was out there doing a pretty good job. Uh, Jimmy G was oh, yeah. looking good, and even CJ got in on things. Uh, they didn't go wild on the defense, of course, because the defense did a pretty good job containing them. But that's what you want to see um, as, yeah. as as the plans come together on both offense and defense. We'll see more of that as when they put the pads on is when it gets better. That's why I'm saying, Grant, lighten up on the set and the edge, man. Come on, man. I, Grant concerns me sometimes because some of his observations aren't based in any knowledge of the game. Why would D4 be setting mm-hmm. the edge uh, in this kind of scrimmage? <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not like, wow. you know, well, Matty B's well, going to come like, sweeping like, around the other side. Okay, anyway, go ahead, Justin. Yeah. I'm sorry. Why is like why is Michael Smith playing Sam too? Why is he playing Sam? Well, no, you know, <laughs> somebody's gonna have to take him off to Sam. He's right now. He's already penciled in as a starting Sam. So somebody's got to yeah, prove. But can he make, can he make it past the first? Can he make it past five games? He's the same. He's you know he's the same situation as Jimmy Moore. Same oh, situation. I knew you were gonna say that. To... Oh, listen, the fact he cannot of the stay is, healthy. Man, no, no, no. I, I was last year. I was at the uh, last year. I was at the Cowboys game. Man, that guy did two game, two plays. We saw him walk in the back. We're like, "What the hell happened to him?" He's holding his shoulder like, "Oh, come." He came on. into the season <laughs> unhealthy, <laughs> though. Yeah, he came into yeah, the season. Like, oh God, man! He never healed oh. up. He never healed up last year. No, oh, God, it was ridiculous, ridiculous, Mandy. And then apparently, freaking what's his name? Jordan Matthews broke up someone's car window. With his celebration, touchdown celebration. God, God dang it. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, Jordan Matthews broke someone's yeah, car window. He, what did he do? Yeah, apparently he threw a ball and like it broke someone's car window. And like, what he, what he threw a, players were clowning him. He compl- he, oh, yeah. they weren't in the stadium though. He, what, he, he threw it to the sideline or something? I didn't know he had that kind of arm. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. He broke it. <laughs> then no Robbie Gold. No Robbie Gold at all. No, no Robbie see. Gold. Yeah. You're not gonna yeah, where I be going? That is, uh, <laughs> I'm telling you that John Brown kid, pro- uh, he's probably gonna be stuck. Damn it! No. I mean, I don't know much about him. All I know is we barely found him this year, so yeah. we'll Robbie's gonna show up. <laughs> Rob- Robbie will be there. He, he, he's not gonna ruin his reputation because you know, yeah, I get signed next year unless you put I mean, in some work this year. So, but the thing is, why doesn't he go ahead and stop pouting, Robbie? You're you're a 49er this year, and you know it. Come on out. And let's do the year and and get your freedom next year. God, man. Yeah. I, just I don't know. Man, he's acting like he's gonna get like another job anywhere. Like you know. Well, he can. I don't. I don't <laughs> he's yeah. Robbie Gold he doesn't, doesn't miss. God. I I mean, he's acting like he's gonna get a bigger contract from like us because no. Put, and I'm telling you right now, no, out of all the 31 teams right now, there's no way it, out of all the 31 teams, like, yeah, we're going to give you like 30, 20 million. Like, there's no, there's no NFL teams that are, are going to give him more money than we offered him. There's no, no. But, but, no but, but remember, it's not about the money with Robbie. He'll take a lesser contract. He just wants to be closer to Chicago where his family is. He started selling his house in Chicago, though. He sells it. He, he put up his uh, Chicago house for sale. But he's going to buy another That's place I, out in that I, area. I, what I want to know yeah. is, where does <laughs> I don't understand why it's so important. If you're a football player, you should be willing to. I guess he doesn't want to pull his family up again. I guess his kids are saying, "I don't want to move," you know. And, and, and you know when that happens, it starts to work on you. I guess. So yeah. 
man, I man, I mean, you know what? You know what? You get paid for football. You know, this is a luxury. This is, this is a business. You know, you play where you play. You know, it's a lifestyle. And then you play where you play. You know, I'm yeah. pretty, you know, freaking Aaron Rodgers didn't want to move to Green Bay, but he ended up too because he got drafted by Green Bay Packers. He wanted to play. He wanted to play in Santa Clara. He wanted to play in Frisco, but we passed on him to Alex Smith. He was pissed at us, and I think he's still pissed at us. <laughs> no, I know. We took it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I mean, you know, you can't you can't say, "Oh, I'm gonna play here." You like, you know, everything happens for you know. Robbie's got a little with it, you know. I don't know if he's gonna show him, you know, but he's he's got a, he's got a, you know, just. Uh, right, right, right. <laughs> that guy. And he doesn't care about that how guy. the fans feel about him anymore either. Robbie's just out there, man. I'll I'll be there when I, I, think- I get there. Uh, he, we destroyed him on Instagram, so I'm pretty, pretty fun looking at like <laughs> he's that's a brutal. <laughs> I mean, especially when you start putting up all this Chicago for paraphernalia all over your wall and stuff. I mean, come on, man, Robbie, grow up, man. You're a professional football player. You give yourself to the highest bidder. You don't get mad because you can't be close to your house. How old is Robbie right now? Is he? What is he, 35, 36, 37? He's 42. I think he's 42, right? He's 42, right? He's 42. Robbie, no, he's not 40 anything yet. Uh, he's getting close to 40, but I don't think he's 40 anything. I think Robbie's I think 30. 39. 39. No, 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 no. He's 39. 36, 37, somewhere in there. Um, yeah. he, he's got, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's got plenty of time to get a contract. Uh, but the thing yeah. is, it, <laughs> it really bothers you that bad that you can't talk to family to move. You could stay with the 49ers. They'd probably retire you. All right. Robbie get a four year yeah. contract from the 49ers in a heartbeat. You really hate the West yeah, Coast that would. much. Come on, Rob. I mean, it's better than it's better than freaking all the cold weather, I'm telling you right now. Well, you know, <laughs> it's, cold, but it's, it, 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 it's, it's funny. He's thirty six. <laughs> but you know what's funny? People who who live in cold weather conditions like that, they do like it though. Yeah, a lot of. Them I mean, do. could you, would you? Do you want to be shoveling? No, I'm pretty sure you don't want to be shoveling snow out of your driveway no, every no, day. No, no, no. I, mean, I, mean, oh, I don't. Robbie probably has other people come on over there and do that. Some kid down the street. Hey, you shove my driveway? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I tell you what, how much you want? How much you willing to give me? How about fifty dollars a month? What? How old are you? Thirteen. Fifty dollars a month. I'll tell you what, how about $100 a month? And depending upon how many times you have to come and take that driveway out, I'll give you bonuses each and every time. You got it! And, that, you know, and that's all it is to that. You know? We got 13 to 14 years old, somebody offers you two, $300, and it probably, probably would, you know, because it doesn't matter to him. Mm-hmm. So, you know, when the kid yeah. comes all over and that driveway's spick and span, man, every time. Okay. So, yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Well, I want to, I'll conclude with this. Um, if anybody's attending the state of the franchise for the 49ers of San Jose, California, hit me up. <laughs> I will be there. I All will right. be there. I will be All there. Right. On June we, 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 we're gonna, we'll so post your logistics up. Uh, put it on your app. Yeah, give us some information as to how people can contact you. Yeah. Not, maybe not your phone yeah, number, social I will media. Be, I, will, I, will be, yeah, I will be there, and um, I will be taking notes and see what, what's going to be happening because it should be interesting. I'm mm-hmm. hoping for new uniforms. I'm hoping. <laughs> we need, Again? We need new uniforms. Maybe I want, there, you know, I want to go back to I, I want to go back to 1980s. Those jerseys were nice. <laughs> Those jerseys the 1980 were nice. jerseys, 1994s man. are nice, but the 1980s, those jerseys were dope. Those jerseys were nice. But, like but, the gold, well, the red. You, you used to house the big shoulder pads. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mr. Instigator on the line. Hey, hey, hey Justin, I'm going to talk to you later. I'll yes, see you sir. Friday, okay? Yes, sir. And, my, and uh, I'll see you on Friday on my 21st birthday. Oh, hey, that's later. right. We'll do the B Day song then. All right, be looking for you. Yes, sir. Twenty one. Hey. <laughs> All right. All right. You can actually get into bars now without being thrown out. <laughs> Good night, <laughs> Justin. Miss Francis, get her out. <laughs> oh man. And Adam, let's. If Sherm was only eighty percent last year, what do you think Verrett will be? Sixty or seventy percent? Uh. This got to be at least 80% because it's been over a year since a Brett was hurt. And Sherman only had a few months. So I figure Verrett's got to be at least 80% this year as well. Uh, Kodak Stavrigak says, did you see what Matt Mayako tweeted about Mitch wishing? You know, it's so funny because I was in a hurry. I seen all the good things said about Mitch. I didn't get a chance to read it yet. I have no idea. All I'm, I'm hearing about, I'm just being told now, putting that ball in the six-yard line and all that other kind of fun stuff. 
Rodney Carnes, what's up? Memphis checking in. With, I just said, how many people got in Memphis? All right. Kodak Sniper Gag, rookie punter Mitch Wisnowski. Here we go. Uh, Mitch Wisnowski went six for six on plus 50 punts. See, I didn't know about that. I wasn't thinking about how long. I was talking about placement. He's 50 yards downfield, and he put that ball on a six-yard line, and he did it six times? This is a bad dude. And so, uh, six for six on 50 plus, 50 yard plus, 50 yard punts inside the 10 yard line, including two that were downed inside the three. <laughs> you know how the stars are aligning? <laughs> I mean, one thing after another. I, this is amazing. Yeah, and, and we wonder why people traded up. Anthony Baker says, what's up? Looking for a 12-4 and four season. That, what do you think about it? I, I, Anthony, I'm going to stick with 10 right now. I figure we're going to lose a game we should not be losing, and at least a game or so that we sh wait. We'll win. We'll lose a game we should have won, and we're going to lose a game we should not have lost, maybe once or twice between the two. So I, I figure if we go in – to Nolens, which I've already got his plan. <laughs> I already figured we're in trouble. If they beat the Saints in Nolens, ain't no telling what's up next. Because that means the 49ers are thoroughly locked into what they're doing, and everybody else is confused. You beat Peyton and Breeze in that place, man, that's Harbaugh stuff, man. We'll, we'll, we're going to see. Uh, oh, hey. <laughs> It's so me the money. So me. Rombo, long time to talk. Yeah, How's it going? that's true. Hey, man, do it all right, man. I, mean, I just it's need a healthier team. Perfect. I need Robbie Gould to stop whining about being in that cold weather. I I really wish that Dante Johnson was not really – I thought I was dreaming and pinched myself several times. It hurt. He is a part of this organization again. And I need my boy Jay Dub to get back out here again so I can say, I told you, I told you. So, but you know, I can't say nothing yet. <laughs> so, first and foremost, I wanted to congratulate you on your monologue. That was the second best monologue you had since I've been listening roughly for the oh, last two whoa. years on your show. Well, thanks. Uh, the <laughs> best one was the, the after the Bosa draft pick. That was the best one. <laughs> well, but this one it. got me all riled up. It got me. I, I I never call you. I don't call you anymore because, uh, to be honest with you, I hate the wait. But you you rev me up. I like <laughs> you got me all excited and everything. <laughs> so, um, not that I was excited about this, but Giante, yeah. you call him uh, Undertaker, I, I believe. Uh, we had a conversation the other day. And we were laughing about it, but we were like, how the fuck, sorry for the language, how the fuck do you break your collarbone on an un, uh, <laughs> untackling practice? Like, there's not even tackling. How do so you it, do that? So it was stupidity, okay? Jimmy forgot, he didn't have, they say had he had his pads on, he probably would, would have survived it. Jimmy's out there diving with no pads on. He, I don't, did he have a mind lapse? You know I guess, you know, when you're playing ball all the time, all you know, I got to make this play. Somebody, at midair, somebody said, you know one of those things on TV where this freeze a frame, click. Okay, here's a mistake. <laughs> Jimmy Ward has went airborne, but he forgot he's not wearing any pads. Let's see what happens when he hits the ground. They turn the camera back on, click, boom, there goes the show. Jimmy, what are you doing? Oh, God. So yeah, it was a, it was a mind fart. Yeah, and it's it's a historical thing with him, which is unfortunate. Well, yeah. But um, I went to um, you guys started talking about that Mitch dude, the, the Australian kid, Mitch the Hunter. Yeah. Um, so I was still celebrating two days after the Joey Bosa draft pick, so I don't yeah. remember it much clearly. Yeah. But I remember a stat they put up. They said he punted a hundred times and. Guess what the combined return, return yards, yards right? out of 100 punts. Okay, you saw that too. Return yards out of 100 punts. 101. It was yards. 110 yards. Well, I thought I read 101. You wanted to, Still, 
Is that a typo? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I've seen the same typo. Maybe, I hope we ran. I hope we read two different articles because they're not going to make that typo on every article. This must be accurate, Somi. It doesn't sound possible, does it? No, it doesn't make any sense. That's one yard average return. One. That's exactly. It. Is that 1. possible? One point one to be exact. Anything less than two is ridiculous. Shit. Two yeah, is ridiculous. Anything less than seven, I would say. I would <laughs> say know, seven. Like, what? That's pretty damn good. God, that means that ball has hang time. That means his troops are down and the field length. in plenty of time. I mean, we got a weapon here. We've got a tremendous weapon in that kid. Dang. And, and let me ask you this, Rombo. Uh, I've been screaming about this since I first called into your, your show, which I love, by the way. I re- listen <laughs> to it religiously. Um. How happy am I about Bosa and D Ford right now? Because oh. I've been screaming about pass rushers oh, since the beginning. Yes. You and me both, man. <laughs> I've been crying about that year after year. And, and, and the secondary guys were doing the pressure today. They went ahead and started crying about today. Because usually down through the years, when they were out there getting smoked, they never said a word. And they got all the blame for every play they didn't cover. And today they went in and said, yeah, it makes a lot of difference if we, uh, if the window's a little, if I got two seconds re, uh, versus four or five seconds, uh, right. there's a lot of different things I can do. So, you know, I, I, everybody should know that. The, the quarterback can't have all day to throw. Of course the secondary's going to get smoked. I don't care who they put back there. You know, and now they went in and admitted it. So we'll see now, Somi. They got and, a front line wall now. And it's a small subtlety. Mm-hmm. It's a small subtle team, but they got rid of the DB coach, and he went to Ohio State, Ooh, yep. which is a demotion for his ass. And so I'm Bobby happy. Salas said something about that today too. Before the media could start, he? yeah, he did. Before the press, before the guys in the press could start saying things like, uh, "Yeah, did anything? Did that have anything to do with the release of uh, of Jeff Halfley? No, no, no. Jeff uh, Jeff went yeah, to yeah, Ohio yeah. for a better opportunity, and he went on and on." <laughs> I'm sitting there laughing. Don't, don't candy cover that. He's, yeah. <laughs> God, he sucked. When you got guys, I saw me, how many times we see the secondary guys point at each other? They didn't know what they were doing because that, nobody's told them what to do. Rambo, I was talking I was talking to Bashar today, and Man. we were talking. You know what pissed me off the most? The, 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 the one play, remember against the Cardinals, the first place from scrimmage when they threw it deep to Christian Kirk, and it was like a total bust coverage totally. with the DBs. They were right. not knowing where the fuck to go, and it was a touchdown. It was like an 80-yard mm. touchdown. Yep. That happened too many times. So. Too many times. And guys did not know their assignments. They didn't know their marks. Their reaction time to certain things made no sense. Of course, they got smoked. I'm watching every all of our wide, all of our corners are trailing plays. The hell, how are they trailing that play? <laughs> of course, oh, and and they never put the camera on Jeff Halfley on the sideline. They put the camera on Akella throwing his arms up in the air. K. Wan sitting there pointing across to the safety. You know, I'm saying, <laughs> yep. yeah, 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 yeah. I said, all you guys. And come you know what? I was guilty. I, I I blame Salah. I I wish like the most worst things on him because I was blaming him and I was yeah. not pay, uh, paying attention to what was really going on when the DBs were screwing up left and right with only eight plays to really go by. So I take accountability for that. But um, I know you gotta you gotta go, Rombo. I just want to um, if I if I can real quick. Uh, real quick. I just want to give a shout out to uh, Nighthawk. Uh, he's a good guy. Um, mm. Kenny and uh, shit, everybody. Um, I, I, I love, you know, sometimes we get heated. and I've been guilty in this the last couple of months. I've been pissed off. <laughs> and uh, I just want to apologize. But I, I, I love I love all of my man and family. And I, I totally apologize if I hurt anyone. So um, right. good, good luck, good, Rombo. God bless good you. Good call. Thank I like that, Sony. That shows that shows a lot of class, bro. All right. Tell you what, hey, come on All back right. Friday. I'll be looking for you, huh? I always listen, Rombo, even if I don't call in. But All I right. love you. Hey, Take care, thanks, brother. man. Send it right back to you, man. All right. <laughs> Have a good night, Sumi. There he goes. And I hope you heard the message there, fam. Uh, if anybody that's been talking to Sumi and, and thought he got a little heated, he. Sends out the all branch right now. He says, please forgive him. It's all in the passionate moments that he lets it go like that. But he's still got nothing but love 
Hey, hey, Jason. Peace, Ron. Good hey. night, brother. Jason, How man, I'm sit, sitting there having a good time. It's like they say, don't get overreact over the things that go on in OTAs. I wish Grant Cohn would take some of that same rhetoric and apply it to his thinking. D Ford does not have to set the edge right now, and it is not such a deep-seated issue that you need to write about it. I just don't, you know, I don't, I don't like to be worried about things that don't need to be worried about. But I got to tell you, Jason, I have heard before now that D Ford is pretty much death on the pass rush, but he can be questionable on the run. Now, what I don't worry about is when I got people like Warren, uh, Fred, War, uh, Fred, what's, I forgot, what's his last name? Fred, Fred Warner, I got, Fred Warner. Fred, I, mean, I got Warner back in the background. I got I got the new, the heat-seeking missile, Quan Alexander. I mean, I got Buckner. I got I got a lot of guys. I don't need to worry about the run. When they come around them sweeps, though, I'm going to be concerned. But it depends on who I got back on the corner and the safeties. I I, I think D Ford can't be that kind of bad. Yeah, I mean, he's not a cripple. Because we hey, still got to worry about got, Solid or Malcolm Smith over there. And he, uh, D-line is, is, is going to operate in their situation, you know, in their position, right. So D Ford is there to go do the Lawrence Taylor thing, you know, yeah. do the Josh Allen thing, like go after the quarterback. Mm. Um, if he's getting blown off the line on run plays, that'll be a problem. But just look yeah. at the film from last year for whoever this guy is, who, who obviously crawled up from under a rock <laughs> and he's watching OTAs for, for his, uh, you know, his Keep his reputation up. Played. Jason, do you, you, do you read Grant Cohn? No, I no. I, I, yeah, I heard he's, of him. he's based out but, uh, of uh, uh, Santa Rosa. Uh, Grant loves to come out, and, and this is how he built his reputation. Everybody knows Grant is going to say something nasty about somebody. He actually opens up his page to let people comment. you got to read it. it, it they talk oh, to he's, him he's like he's a, a till of a um, hun. <laughs> he's like a troll. He's like a, an aggressive troll is what it sounds like. I don't know. He, well, he makes some – actually, he makes some good observations. When he's being positive, he makes some good observations. But Grant okay. sometimes oversteps negatives and goes beyond the real – he passes the potential of what he's talking about sometimes. By hey. miles, he exaggerates some things. You know, anyway, it's it's a matter of taste when you read them. You'll, you'll see. Check, just click Grant Cohn. You'll see Grant, what I'm talking about. Grant Cohn. G R A N T C O H N. Yeah. Got you. Gotcha. I like I know, him though. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I like him as a person. He he just gets carried away sometimes. But go ahead, Jason. You know what Send I did mind. see though? I yeah. I saw some good things. First of all, I want to say uh, shout out to Tom Opino. Yeah. He was awesome. He got cut. I mean. They must have been seeing something. Obviously, we haven't in the practices and OTAs. Yeah. And I recall almost busting a blood vessel watching Dante Johnson play for us. I don't know what he learned in Seattle since. Maybe he went and got a shape up or a new haircut. I don't know. I think Why are we bringing this back to town? But I'm going to say, you know, I'm always for second chances. And if guys can... Go and improve and things like that. Hey, if he came back and learned some, learned how to cover the ball. Like his problem was to me, he seemed not to know when the ball was in the air or when to do nothing. You know? Just, he's a, he's a safety. I'm sorry. They tried to make him a oh, corner. Oh, they're bringing him in on safety. No, he. No, I mean he Dante naturally he's a Johnson safety. A he, he's a safety that we they made him into a cornerback. Corner and it failed. Oh, yeah. so now we're bringing him in for some safety help? No, they brought him in his corner because Jimmy is laid oh. up. They're moving Tavares to cor- safety because they know he can handle it. Oh, more. Yeah, more is okay, more safety okay. for now and get some snaps in. Uh, all right, we up. need some camp bodies. Let's see what There it got. is. I'm try- yeah. the good news. Okay, he, he ain't buying for no news, position. Ron, yeah. The good news I've seen, like the uh, D-line doing hit in the bag, mm. and – you know, two guys stood out to me. Great. I posted it on one on your Facebook page, just mm. like somebody's random video of the OTAs. I think I posted it on one of your articles. On Is that with Kasurik hollering at him? Remember. 
somebody was just hollering names out. Like every yeah. guy that went up to the bag, the guy recording was telling us who we were seeing if we could oh, okay. see the numbers. Yeah. And um, Con uh, uh, Contavious Street, he <laughs> was out there. I mean, I wasn't yeah. great. I wasn't really happy to see the knee brace. I thought by now he would be like, you know, fully recovered. But evidently he's going with, you know, I just need some precaution, yeah. which I respect that. But when he hit the bag, let me tell you this. <laughs> Folded it up, didn't The he? guy holding the bag, he did it effortless. Like, you know, like like a giant five-year-old when he's playing with the little kindergarten kids, but he doesn't know his own strength. Uh, and they gotta, he was like that on the yeah. bag, man. Him and Armstead, too, surprisingly. Hey, Eric Armstead look is out. looking look like he's Eric. getting low. Yo, God. so as far as run protection goes we got street we got ron blair stop playing uh jones we got uh jones still you, I, and, I never and look jones eric got, got eric likes time, to stop man. the run too so you got plenty of guys yeah. stuff to run that's why i worry about D. Yeah. bosa buckner like we gonna be straight as far as runs go stop Whew, stopping man. runs you know a lot's expected Jason. morgan is showing out too this kid morgan this young guy young man morgan from the Panthers, he's showing out in, oh, the um, linebacker. Pass in, in OTAs. Yeah. yeah, they're saying he's he's blocking, he, he's batting down passes, almost picked off a few, and batted down a few more to Bourne and uh, Pettis. It passes over the middle, so exactly. that's what we need, you know. Yeah, yeah I like to hear that because uh, I remember how how we were when we had Willis, you know. Since that era, we we just haven't had it from our middle linebackers, and then you know, uh, Warner he's he's pretty good. I like his all around skills, but to have Morgan there for backup is dope. Mm -hmm. so you, our, you, our team is shaped. Jason, enough. you remember Chris Borland though, don't you? Man, I I oh, had such a man crush on Chris him, Borland. Though. That dude, we all did, bro. Dude is not human, he man. Like uh, he looked like uh, the dude from the Panthers. A little bit, like as far as his nose for the ball, he was yeah. everywhere. Rookie year too. I was like, "Damn, this is a sad story." He's worried about. I understand the concern. Yeah, at, if you're going to be making hits and all of that, ah, oh, man. But it, and he said because the way he plays, little, he needs to be. He needs to take, say goodbye. Yeah. But but Chris was coming yeah. up at 25. He was averaging 20 and up. I mean, that month he got uh, he a rookie of the, of the, of the He would have been a Hall of Famer. He easily. would have been a Hall of Famer. <laughs> just, by keeping, just, just by keeping up that pace. He didn't even have to do much more. Hey, kid, kid. remember Waterboy when Pacino said, hey, Kevin, can you give me this every time? <laughs> uh, Adam Sandler kept going out there and, not, you know, he, he I just want to say, hey, this guy said something about your mother. Go knock snot out of him. I tell you, he man, said, even Bobby you Boucher didn't take no time? stuff, man. Bobby Boucher, <laughs> he was like, if he could do that every time. But we've been on search, uh, you know, Warner. I thought we had it with Foster, you know. God we, bless him. Hopefully oh, he was man, don't, don't get me started. with him, man. man. He didn't bulk up either. Like, when you think about his injuries, he's running around here at, what, 225, maybe 30 pounds. Like, oh, uh, Patrick Willis was solid 250. Like, if you're going to be in the middle, or if you're going to yeah. be a, a run stopping, yeah, he was smashing guys. I watched his highlights again. Like, I always <laughs> watch highlights. And see. Yeah, no he was like laying people, the, he was laying people out <laughs> in rookie and talking year. to him. So Nobody got mic'd up. was the real deal. <laughs> Willis yeah. was entertainment. I mean, pure entertainment. I mean, I, but that mic'd up film he had. Uh, uh no, I'm sorry, not today. <laughs> Willis. Willis, yeah, Willis. He was he was very direct but very vocal. He was not a clown like he didn't clown around with his antics, but he was always Beat talking. You up, he always boy. had something to say, especially in the huddles. He would get everybody pumped up. I was, yeah. I remember the Super Bowl huddle. I was like, yo. I could have cried that game, though, man. Oh, if I was man. a crying fan. Not Let's to not bring up that, that man. man. I'm That's sorry, so but, bad. you know. But we should, uh. though, because it still was a, a time of greatness because we endured 2005 Alex Smith, Frank Gore, and 06 Vernon Davis acquisitions, and Arnez Battle, and Barlow. Jason, don't bring the pain up. But, Jason, we got to stop, though. Look, but, I mean, all right, I mean, brother. 
I'll be looking for you Friday, huh? All right? Friday, all right, man. All right, fam. Peace. Night. Yeah, Jason, Jason bringing up the pain. But he's right. And, and you know what? That pain is going to serve a purpose because now I truly believe some of this suffering is over. Because the program is, you know how you tighten up them last few nuts on putting that new engine in? I got a feeling we're at the tightening up of the bolts. Hey, Derek Dawson, hey, did you hear the, the defensive line coach, Chris, uh, Chris talk about the line? Yeah, I was listening. Chris Kasorik is fun, man. I watched him doing them drills, Grant had. Man, he gets all up in the face. He's all up in the pose and everything else. <laughs> Bam! They look that sled up there. Man, them dudes, if you've ever felt a sled, these guys are freaking strong. They, get that, they brought that sled all the way up. And the consumer, ah! You know, he's, he's keeping score between left side and right side. Oh, man, that was, that was inspiring to watch. We got some linemen. Them dudes just been working out, man. Uh, the guy had me fired up. I have a good feeling about his, uh, this. Him, and you have to love the idea of a coach being a live wire. Exactly, Derek. That's exactly what I seen, man. I love the dude already. Don't ever let him get on. Jed, you got interviewed. He, he, he does not get fired for the next five years. If he feels like playing beyond that, I love this dude. Adam Lins is pulling for Coleman for starting running back. Uh, Want to trade for him when we sign Shannon. He's going to be sick. Oh, Adam, tell you, we got, we got one weapon after another. I like Coleman, man. I knew he'd be good anyway. He's already playing with Shannon. He's Shannon trained and Bobby Turner trained. And Sean T, Ubers, I think the defensive rotation of the defensive line is key. The other key is staying healthy. Oh, that's key number one. This team is ready. This team's got some fight. They got, the, they got enough maturity now. We're not talking about a bunch of rookies anymore. We're talking about guys who got three years and up. Some of them got, I mean, we got a couple of two-year guys, but most of them got at least three years in the, the core nucleus of this team. I'm telling you, they're ready to go. They're exactly at the right age now, man. Sean T. Over, I think, oh, um, is it? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Well, here we are. Uh, Der- Derek Day says, did you see Coach Sella? Dude looks jacked in his sweater. <laughs> looks like he wants to put the pants on. Sella's got to be feeling real good about himself now because he's taken a lot of flack the last couple of years. Now he's got guys can implement the program with some thunder. Hey, he's an easy third. says, all right, no one is going to the Pro Bowl this year because we're, we're going to the Super Bowl. See, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I just want to the nominations to be there, and they have substitutes coming in to back them up. <laughs> Salvador! <laughs> Salvador! Salvador! Salvador, where you at, man? All right. Let's go check out... Uh, hey, 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 Lewis! We ain't talked to Lewis in a few days. Actually, I talked to, talk to Lewis last week, I think. Lewis, you there? What's up, Rombo? Hey, Lewis. Hey, Rombo, long time no talk, man. Yeah, I'm man, how you doing? a little busy. Yeah. I should never be too busy for, you know, the great Rombo show. Yeah, that, <laughs> life caught up with me, so. I've been, yeah. yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you, though. I mean, you know, I, Rombo. Rombo, do you drink? <laughs> what would make you think that? You know, I try to stay sober. It's like no, cause, cause, during the cause course of the game is when things get out of hand. Uh, last uh, year, I put away more yeah. booze and more beverage than I think I have uh, in the last <laughs> decade. You know, trying to stay above board during well, no, the course, I, first quarter to fourth quarter. No, because <laughs> I, I say that to say this. I mean, you completely crashed the J-Dub Bunch bandwagon train or the bus <laughs> or the Maserati <laughs> SUV, whatever you want to call it, man. Gosh, I should have known I was being set up. Bravo. What in the hell, bro? You must have been set up or something. Some probably slipped something you drink because, man, did that, did that, hey. that bandwagon train fall so fast? Lewis, oh, my God. The car's in the shop. When we get that bus out of the shop, oh, I'm going to get right God. back in there, and I'm going to be driving 80, 90 miles an hour in a 30-mile zone. 
I'm telling you right now. It's, wait All a minute, right. I shouldn't say things like that. Do not oh. drive 80, 39, 30 miles on, I'm on the freeway. <laughs> All right, going down toward LA, I'm in a great fine. I'm hitting every corner at 90 right? miles an hour. You know? <laughs> oh my gosh, Rombo. And um, no, but um, like I said, Rombo, um, I completely like. I'm a big I'm a big fan of OTAs, but. The problem with OTAs, I think, is coaches like to see the new acquisitions that they got, and you got idiots like Jimmy Ward who try to do too much <laughs> during OTAs. I agree with that. So, bro. for instance, like, no, <laughs> I'm serious, because if you look about it, look at Bosa. Like, Bosa hasn't worked out hard. I mean, he, I mean, if you look at him, he, his definition, he's probably worked out in the offseason, but he hasn't had, you know, contact with other humans. Like, you know, when you're going against, you know, uh, Staley or, um, you know, um, and you got to shift your body weight all, all of a sudden in drills. Yeah, he had right, been doing drills. Then, right, but exactly. And, and, and he's, he, I mean, he ain't going 100%, but he's probably going like 80. And all of a sudden, what do we hear? Oh, he has Twang. a right hamstring strain. Yeah. You know, grade one. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. stuff like that. It's like, I'm a big fan of OTAs to see, but you got, I mean, we have to reel it in because um, if you look at statistics, the ACL uh, epidemic has increased over years. I know. And, and the NFL is look, looking more and more into it, and they're saying, well, um, Chris Sims, who I think is, a, is uh, one of Kyle Shanahan's best friends, and he's, it is. Um, I think he's a great sports writer, yeah, um, was saying something too, and he brought it to my attention. He said, coaches need to understand that you in OTAs, you know, it's getting them prepared for training camp, but you can't have guys going 80, you know, to or 70 to 80, you know, percent, because their bodies haven't adjusted to it. And that's why you get ACL tears. That's why you get hamstrings. That's why you get Achilles tears. So I'm, you know, if I'm, if I'm Sh Shanahan or the 49er training staff, I'm like, guys, you guys got to go like at least 50%. This is walkthroughs. OTA should be walkthroughs. You shouldn't be trying to flex, you know, oh, you know, I'm the number one pick, you know, oh, I'm going against the number one pick from last year, Mike McGlinchey. Oh, I'm going to try to dominate it. Like you shouldn't, dude. Mm -hmm. You haven't, you, you know, you haven't been that explosive. You know, you haven't, you know, won against another 300 pound behemoth like yourself. So why are you, you know what I'm saying, why, if, if your body's not accustomed to it, why are you going, you know, 80%, you know, or 70%, you know what I'm saying? And that's why True. injuries happen. True. But I'm, yeah. ha I'm happy that, you know, they shut Bosa down, and they're like, well, we're not going to risk anything with their hamstring. So he's going to be out for what? I think they said uh, two to three months. Which no, 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 yeah, oh, no, it was, yeah, only, a level, last it was one, only a right? level one strain. Uh, they just want to take one, right, precautions. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, he's okay. But if I'm the training staff, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know a lot about bodies, but if I'm the training staff, I'm telling Bosa he has to cut a lot of that muscle, man. I mean, we've all seen him during the OTA and the um, the combine. We've all seen his body during the uh, combine, and that boy was yoked. But the, if and, I'm and, the training and, staff, and I'm the like, dude, have... dude's dude's got Saquon right. Barkley no, thighs. Right? No, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's what I'm gotta, saying. Yeah. Yeah. Saquon Barkley size. But the thing is, is like I think Saquon is to me it's less more dangerous than Saquon because Saquon's already lower to gravity than yeah. um yeah, man, than it's more both muscle. is. <laughs> but uh he's already lower to gravity yeah. and I don't feel like the hamstrings uh you know he both is, you know, spurts. He's not consistently running. He's in Explosive. spurts, you know what I mean? He has yeah. to get off in spurts. Yeah. Exactly. So I you know, I just feel like I feel like, if anything, I would ask him to lose some of that muscle so he could get flexibility so the ligaments aren't being um, strained yeah, so much between the muscles. Louis, Louis, you know what I, that's you, what I feel. You know, you, you, you can train muscle and, 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 and remain flexible, but a lot of those guys, they got to stay with kinesiolo uh -huh. uh, kinesiology and they got to make sure to stretch out. Exactly. Don't ever come out in the field not warm. You should have a light sweat or light, light, at least lightly perspiring upon coming out in the field. And if you're feeling cold, Call time. Tell coach, I'm, I'm getting cold here. Go to the sideline right, and keep warmed right, up. Right. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it, you've got to think out there. Jimmy wasn't thinking when he died for that ball. And like I said, Bosa's exploding no, off the was. line like it's, it's game action. Hey, guys. Well, and Kyle on, Rumble, said something on, about that, too, before they started. Wait, but Rumble, you just said it, right? Jimmy wasn't thinking out there. When does Jimmy ever think? I thought he just out there. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Lewis. You're talking about my dude, man. <laughs> Jimmy, see, oh, yeah. see, this dude goes under oh, now. I got to get him some pads. When everybody else is not wearing pads, put some on Jimmy because he right. loses his mind sometimes. I don't know what he meant by that. We had guys Rumble. diving today, though, Lewis. George Kittle's out there diving yeah. for passes. I know what the hell's wrong That's with these I'm, guys. I don't Stop diving. Why are you guys diving for OTAs? Like, it doesn't make any sense. But. 
Hey. They're trying to, you know, I guess it starts in, you know, obviously, you know, uh, dominance starts in practice and practice transitions to the game. But I'm like, dude, it's OTAs. It's not, you're not even supposed to be having contact. We don't These even have pads, but yeah. They're you got real guys. competitive, though, Lewis. These right? guys real competitive. are competitive. I mean, I love just... the spirit, but. It takes away from good sense I mean, competitive sometimes, for though. practice, or do you want to be out for the rest of the season? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, Jimmy. Huh? That's, to me, that's just not smart. But I understand people want to win, and, you know, I'm glad that we have a bunch of, you know, 49ers uh, fans and players that want to change the culture and, you know, make it a winning culture. Yeah. So, but, it's kind of... I mean, again, I'm just like, ah, come on, guys. You got to be smarter with that. But, I mean, all in all, though, at least, you know, we're I feel like we're doing good. Rombo, I mean, I hope yeah. The training staff keeps the players healthy, yeah. and um, I feel like we're on the right track, man. I'm, I'm really excited, man. I wish you could see Jimmy, you know. Uh, yeah. you, you talked about it a couple days ago. Jimmy's looking really good in training coming camp. Along. Um, coming Sherman along. Sherman was talking about, right? Sherman was talking about tight window throws, man, and he was, oh, he was putting them on dime. See. So that's, you know, one, an elite cornerback like that is talking about, yeah, my quarterback's making some good passes, you know. He's getting you know, credit. And, so, you know, you know who's go-to guy is already, Lewis? And, you know, anybody that thought they were going to get rid of uh, uh, the guy they just got from the Eagles. Trent Taylor? Um, what? Oh. oh, Jordan Matthews? Yeah. Anybody thought that Jordan Matthews was leaving? Yeah. Jimmy's already hit him on numerous occasions. That's his guy. That's going to be his guy this year. Nice. Six, I, hey, Jordy's 6'3", six, 6'4", six, something like that. That's interesting. Big, big target. Yeah, he's a big yeah. body. Big target. Yeah. And Debo's Jimmy, gonna, Jimmy Debo's gonna do a deal. You got you got the the guy, the game breakers, game changers, and like Tevin Coleman. We have there's no imbalance on that offense anymore. You got one of the best tight ends. What am I saying? You got the best tight end in football on this team. You got an assortment of running backs that'll kill you if you give them one slight crease yeah, and they're out definitely. of here. It's like it's like Gail Sayers used to say, "All I ever need is six inches of daylight." <laughs> We got about oh, three guys that oh, need yeah. four inches of daylight. They're gone. Definitely. Woo! Definitely, yeah. Rumble. Rumble, I'm, you know what I'm really excited, though? I'm really excited because Kyle Shanahan, everybody knows it's a zone scheme uh, type system, right? You run it off the bootleg, play action, um, you know, RPO. But, dude, what I love about this, though, is you're going to have so many fresh legs. Like, I don't think the, – the I think the dominant ball carriers are going to be Kelvin Coleman and Matt Breida only because um, – Oh my gosh, uh, Jerry McKinnon, he's gonna be, you know, still rehabbing. He's not gonna yeah. be fully 100%. Um, you know, you want to warm him into things, especially with an ACL. You don't want to throw him just, you know, give him no a need. hard workload. But yeah, I no feel need. With, you got Tevin yeah. Coleman, you got no Matty yeah. B. Let them carry that thing, Absolutely. man. Yeah. But no, but that, what I love about that, though, Rumble, is you know how, like, Matty B is a. I don't, I mean, I know us Niner fans see it. I don't know why a lot of the other, other NFLs, like, at one point in time, last year, wasn't he? He was leading, I think, for the first, first two to three, three weeks, weeks of the season. Of the season. He was leading, he was leading rushing yards. But the problem was he kept getting banged up. But Every the, time. The guy, I was but looking was, at this phenomenal stat, Rombo. Rombo, before, before he Real even quick. got touched, he was averaging 2.7 yards. <laughs> That's almost three yards before he even gets touched. That's crazy. <laughs> That's that you, quickness. You know that? Quickness. Yeah. And, 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 and Lewis, the stretch zone, I, nobody, if, as I said, if I was teaching a class on how to run the zone dress, stretch for, for running backs, all right, now watch Matty B. Let me slow it down so you can see everything he does. And see how he's scanning, scanning, scanning. But he keeps moving. You notice yeah. at the angle he's moving, he's moving downfield. They don't even see it. Watch him put his foot down. Now watch. And you see him just, the camera's just watching him zoom down the field with that incredible speed. He is beautiful to watch running that. You gotta yeah, watch, watch, watch. Running behind your, your usually riding behind your tight end. Time it right off his butt. Boom! Oh, look at Matty right. holding oh, classes on how to run that zone yeah. stretch. <sighs> Between the tackle or the guard, or he's running off the left tackle. He's you know he's Whew. he's looking at the end to see if the end's gonna contain the outside and yep. he'll take the you know the inside of the shoulder. Process. Matty B. I mean um, Matt Breida. He's a he's a great phenomenal runner. But like he I is. said, he was banged up. Yeah. But with McKinney coming back, oh. and you got Kevin Coleman, man, it's like oh. pick your poison at this point. Oh. Like, who do you want to get ran on by today? It's like it's like they're gonna they're all gonna go in the middle in the circle, and, you know, play junk kind of pole or rock paper scissors. You're like, hey, you want to go for hundred? All right, we'll let you go for hundred today. Hey, you want to go for hundred? We'll let you go for hundred today. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I'm ready for this, man. I'm telling you, Lewis, we gotta go. I'm gonna say, well, I'll be back Friday looking for you, huh? Definitely Friday, Rumble. I'm gonna definitely call in on Friday, man. Be looking for this you too. Show. Thank all you right. so much for all that you do. 
Thanks, Giving man. us a platform, Rumble. I appreciate you, man. You have a great night, brother. Thanks, Lewis. Have a good night. It's Lewis. Hey, 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 it's Greg too. Hey, oh, hey. There he is. Daniel, let's say 49ers fan, 5249. This is up at Montana in Vegas. And I ask him who uh, was the better, him or Brady. <laughs> I can't believe you asked him that, Dan. That's pretty funny. I, I, I'd love to ask him that to see what he does. But he, said, he says here, <laughs> Joe smiled with that twinkle in his eye and said, I never lost the Super Bowl. <laughs> Drew Montana's a goat, not Wiley Brady. You know, it's really funny because Joe, when his wife were on a show once, and his wife exposed him, and I think she, was, she wasn't kidding. She said, that's the kind of wife that's going to make that kind of stuff up. She said, because they brought Joe that question at the, on that particular talk show, and the wife says, she looks at Joe, you know, you guys, if you guys heard him talking around the house, you would know he thinks he's the best. ha, 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 ha. I know it. I know. And you she didn't make that up. You can see in her face. She did not make that up. She's not that kind of person, you know. And I, I, I knew it. Joe needs. He's right though. Joe, Joe ain't got to be thinking about Brady. And finally, Joe comes back and says, "Oh come on, <laughs> she's nuts." Hey, okay, I'll say this. Right? Every generation has its players. You know, Sammy Ball was better than Joe says. Sammy Ball was better than me, and Tom. He's the he's the best of his time. That's why well, we just leave it at that. I said, you know what? That's that's hilarious. That's true. But I know Joe runs around the house and said, man, I got to hear about Tom Brady every few minutes, man. I'm telling you right now, if I'd have played against him, I'd have kicked his beep. You know, so, <laughs> Joe, you're right. I know you would have. Woo! And Chase Chapano. Hey, what's up, fam? Thanks, Chase, for the contribution. Daniel, thanks for the contribution, fam. Oh God. Salvador. What they got to do is come up with a chicken soup. I should write my own chicken soup. You know, chicken soup are all some of the best things that go on as far as uh, sport and just football. <laughs> Salvador is coming in with coming up with the hip hop beat. I was walking up the street on my way to buy tickets. Real motherfucking cheese. <laughs> What's up, Rombo? Hey, Sal, man. We just sit back here Tony tripping G's on the OTAs. Yeah, G is looking good, man. Like, he's like making all the throws now. And he's got, man, like, Rombo, I decided to come on tonight because it was nothing but good news today, Rombo. It was <laughs> overload of just of Niner positivity. Mm. And, I mean, all those reports, all those videos. Did you check out Grand Cone's videos? I'm yeah, I was watching that. To the, to the I was like, Chris Kasur was yeah, making me crazy. I was having a blast. Mm -hmm. Man, yeah, I was at work, you know, like driving, and then I was just, those videos were just popping up on my feet, and then I was having a blast on the freeway. Um, <laughs> you know, it was crazy because uh, Chris Kasur, man, he gets really into it. I love when it. He gets, when he starts coaching. <laughs> yeah, that's just Dude's all it's down tight. in the stance it's and tight. everything. He, made, <laughs> he makes it fun, Rombo. It's, he does. it's simple. It was a two-minute video, but he made it fun because, you know, right when they're going one on one, he throws out their colleges on their guys. You know, he, know. he makes them he makes them compete. <laughs> that, yeah, that was that's something that's, that like it that reminds funny? me like a high school coach. Uh, yeah, it reminds <laughs> me like a high school coach when he pumps up like the young kids, and it's good. You know, it, it brings new energy to the line. Yes. Um, you know, your Sol Solomon Thomas, he was out there. Like, you know, he looks pretty good out there. Like I said in the chat, DJ Jones, he his his quickness, Rumble. He he was he looks pretty good. I hope hopefully he puts some some good competition for Armstead mm. and the guys in and the Sal, middle. Sal, did you see uh, how they was lifting that yeah. sled? I was impressed with that. Yeah. Them dudes was pressing that sled. That a few of them yeah, missed, I, I, but I, most I, of them was lifting that puppy up over their head. I said, oh, these dudes are ready yeah, to move an a, 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 a offensive line back. Oh. Yes, yeah, Ronald. You know Ronald Blair. He did. He looked good on there. Uh, like uh, Solomon Thomas. You know his reps look good. You know all the all the guys. You know they're shiny right now. I saw Bosa out there. I wish he was competing in that. I find yeah, shining no, around there. Know. Let you him know, heal up. Still, still with the group. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. He's still with the group. It's not like he's away from football. I'm mean, no, no. pretty he's sure. Pay he, attention. He's, he's there. Him. He's yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, no, no, nothing but positivity out today. Uh, you know, Tevin Coleman. Looks like he's going to be our starter, and I'm perfectly fine with that. You know, oh, you we brought him be. in on a one-year deal. Mm. 
Yeah, we bought him in on a one-year deal, and damn it, he's going to get an extension next year. And oh, it's no doubt. Be at an expense. No. Hey, I thought yeah, he had a two-year deal. Added, added. No, no, no. Hey, Tevin's got a two-year deal, but it's really cheap My for bad. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a two-year deal. But you see, next year, you know, it's his last year, and then obviously he, he, he's going to get extended. Yeah, 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 that's right. He got two years, $10 million, huh? Mm. I was thinking yeah, that as a, a totally. one-year deal. 8.38. Eight, 8. So they got him for a steal. I don't know why the Falcons would get rid of Tevin Coleman, though. That's what – what? Why would you – I don't think they could afford him. They probably they, – I don't know. Maybe they thought his they didn't want to be higher. But that's, uh, I'm not sure. I don't know about the Falcons. Second but, eight. I mean, man, Rombo defense is stacked. Uh, I hope – I mean, I wish – I was watching the Adrian Colbert interview. I wish yeah. he would have shut up a little bit. <laughs> right? It kind of seems All like he was All of us had the same reaction at the same defense, time. Like, I'm like – I was like uh, – Adrian, I, I smiled Adrian. for a bit, and then I was like, wait, what? I was like, why are you telling me this? I was like, I'm not supposed to know this. I'm supposed to see it on Sundays. You're and, telling me in July. And worse in than that. Middle of May. OCs of May. aren't supposed to see that. God, Adrian. Oh, more duh. I bet yeah. you somebody told him about that later. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian, yeah, they you do these things out here up. for a reason for you not to go. You had to go tell everybody? Are you serious? Oh. Yeah. Okay. At Rumble, before I, I tap out. Um, mm. Remember, no, well, you probably don't remember, but a couple of weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, I, I, in one of your videos, I posted a comment. I said, I will not apply for your J-Dub, J-Dub Bunch. <laughs> your J-Dub Bunch. You made that clear until, on several you different you posts. Remember, you remember not the, just you remember one. The term? It, it, yeah. it, it, <laughs> Forgot. Yeah, you made a few. Two videos. <laughs> the one where you started that, that, that buffoonery. <laughs> I, 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 I start. I put one comment there, oh, and then the very, the very next day when he got hurt, I, the very next video, I, I, damn right, I'm in that conversation right there too. <laughs> um, I said I would not sign up for this for this J Dub bunch <laughs> until week one of the season when he yeah. makes the 53 man roster yeah. and he was fully healthy. <laughs> Bombo, he couldn't even make it out of mini camp. <laughs> without, Here we go with this. Without breaking a uh, collarbone. Sal, I have I, been. I tried, Bombo. I, I'm, I have I'm, been, I'm nothing but like. I, I have been held. I'm not a hater, Bombo. I, I, no, I I'm don't. I'm not a hater. But I'm just saying, you're late. I, I love every everybody that wears the red and gold. And I support everybody. But damn, two freaking years of injuries, too long, Bombo. I've been. We should have not even resigned them. We shouldn't even pick up his fifth year option, See, let alone resign him this I, year. Hi, Elisa. I just say hi. It's just a waste of space. About Elisa. See, this is, how they treat, this is how they treat Uncle Ron. Don't pay no attention to him. Okay. Go ahead, Sal. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking to? <laughs> that little girl. She's that so is cute. Bro, you listen to me. You know? <laughs> I'm listening to you. Hey, but listen, Sal, the, the other day after Jimmy went down, I had like Trez was holding me. Trey was hitting me all in the midsection, oh, and then yeah. uh, I mean, Big Show yeah. comes in and starts slapping me about the head. And, I mean, they just beat me up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It and here you come man. days later to whoop on me handicap. again. Yeah, I'm, I'm just reminding you, Rombo, of the dumb choices you make <laughs> and, you, and you put out there to your son. Hey, figure, you say that now, Rombo. But wait a minute, wait, wait, wait and see. Watch who gets oh, the last laugh oh, on this. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm a bitch. I'm telling you. I'm gonna be cheering when he gets a pick, and he doesn't see, get I know it, good, see. when he doesn't get a play. I'm gonna be but calling y'all. I'm gonna y'all's. switch up. I'm, I'm, I'm also telling him about damn time, Jamie. Six minutes late. <laughs> I knew that was coming too. Because I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be roaring, man. You know I'm telling you right now, y'all, y'all know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be jumping. <laughs> hey. Told okay. y'all, man. Look at Speaking Jimmy. Of, I no. told y'all he needed okay, was some but, people but to help him out. Give me a front defensive line. <laughs> Give me some cornerbacks that know what they're doing. Give me a coach that knows the difference between an X and an O. You know what I'm saying? This is this is, this is all I'm saying. Jimmy's got to stop diving for the ball with no pads. But meanwhile, that boy can play. He can hit and he can run. He can cover, um, ball especially the safety. Is, he can cover. He's just too small. He's 5'11". And it, I mean, his bones might be weak, Rumble. He can he can <laughs> take a hit without breaking something. You know, football's know. it's Jim not made for everybody. He should have been like a he should have been like a sprinter. Maybe he chose track. He should have chose track. No, no. Jimmy's gonna drink more. He's gotta get should. more milk. Or something. He's very athletic. He's very gifted. Yeah. But maybe football was the wrong sport. So, um, so you sound like that guy. So we might as well hard knocks as you're getting ready to cut J Dub. He's sitting in your office and you tell him things like this. You know what? 
You're a great no, athlete. I do that. You're a good. You're a great person. But Jimmy, I just don't think football is made for you. If I could uh, advise, you know, and and and, and, no. and, and, and there's a dude standing next to him giving a sign right here, release, all right. And Jimmy, good luck to you. It's nothing personal. I can see you, not. Sal. You'd be great, uh, man. <laughs> no, no, right. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't. I would have told him football is not for him. I would have told him, you know, there's 31 other teams that he could go apply for. And, no. You know, good luck. <laughs> good luck. You know, I because football telling him telling him football is not the, the sport for him. You know, that's like a slap in the face. He's gonna take I know, that he may, he may get mad about that. that yeah, I wouldn't want to do that to him, man. <laughs> but um, I mean, Rombo, we're on the same boat with Dante Johnson, are we? What the hell is he doing on this? On, what is he doing on this team again? See, Dante Johnson, bro. Meet camp. He took camp meet. Bro. Sal, don't even worry about it. He's not going. He you know how many be pe- suiting up on uh, in September? Not in the forty nine Dude, you know how many teams he was on last year? It wasn't just the Seahawks. Buffalo. Anyway, everybody you know, goes through Buffalo now. Uh, I know he went through Buffalo with the, with the Hawks. Who else? Check it out on the Niner app. They put it on there. But he went through like four teams <laughs> for nothing. He was just getting passed around like, <laughs> like you know what? Passed around like nothing, dude. Like, it was know. crazy. Did I don't know what he's doing on that team, Rombo. He's, he's taking away reps from Tim Harris. I mean, you know, you the know, young guy. No, no, he, uh, he's just there. The you know, they, they're going to need these bodies later. So he's a rotation. Um, he, he's not going to stay. If he stays, it'll be a miracle. Oh, so we got to go for him. Hopefully let me, not. Let me, let me, let All me, right, uh, Rambo, you take care. All right, fam, you too. See, See you Friday. Friday, Saturday, you, Sunday, whenever you come in. All right, yeah, Rambo. Take good. care. Love right, you, Empire. Good night. Stay faithful. Yeah, yeah J-Dub, boy. And, you know, and the thing is, immediately... He's at he's he's at Stanford Med, and we were talking when we talk about room twenty. There's Jimmy. You walk by there, room twenty. Jimmy laying up there. Yeah, who is it? Jimmy, man, it's me, Ron Ball. Ain't you that dude to be trying to start clubs with my name on it? You hear yeah, yeah. What you want, man? Cause don't ask me about what happened. <laughs> Jim, I am your man. In fact, I even hired you a lawyer, a good Southern lawyer, too. His name is Buford D. Putin. Boy, and I, he be waiting. All I do is call him. Comes to your rescue. Trez, you know I'm talking about you. Come back in here, man, with another case. Well, we ready. Got the case already prepared. Anderson, come on in, man. What's going on, Rambo? Oh, Anderson, man, it's uh, it's a nice day. OTAs, everything went. You know what's the best thing about today, Anderson? We didn't hear about nobody getting hurt. Boy, that's good. That's good. That's good. But uh, more Tavares, more was having a good day, right? You know, they didn't say anything. I wish I could have. There was nothing mentioned about him in the in the, in the things that they saved. Um, you know, but he is going back to the safety position. But they didn't say much about yeah, him, I, uh, his play. That's all, that's all I want to say because that, that's where they're going to put him. That's where yeah. they're going to put him. Yeah, he's, he's trying to make corner. Yeah, I told you that last Friday. Yeah, and you was right. Mm. And they needed to take a look at him no matter what. They were supposed to check him yeah. and see how he looks back there. Yeah. Ah. So he's Oh, here. yeah. And, but oh, on a, the other one called the last caller, I listened to him. Yeah, we can send him to Jim. We can send Jimmy to another team, but. <laughs> Just like Bruce Ellington, just like Bruce Ellington did with you, with Texans, shine on our ass, come back and shine on our ass, make it run, pretty run, plays. Just run. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just make it ain't do shit, ain't do shit in San Francisco, but he shine on our ass when we came to Houston. When it was, uh, and uh, that wasn't the game with with Jim and G. I know that because no, yeah, that game. it was a. I think it was a practice. I forgot what that was, but yeah, he was out there scoring nah, I touchdowns. Think that, I, think, I think that was. I think I think that was a real game. I don't know. Yeah, because anyway, Ellington scored. Anderson, I think it has something to do. Are the injuries? Mm-hmm. Are we getting any injuries on the road? Most of these injuries are taking place inside the Santa Clara facility. Anderson, there's something yeah. really, really. The mojo in Santa Clara is not healthy. I'm not sure what's going. On. We haven't it, been right it, 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 since 2014 when we moved in there. People have been going down like oh. crazy. Yeah, I think, yeah, the candlestick, the, it, the candlestick, they should have just transferred the field. 
I oh, think that's what it is. All the, all the play, skills was left in, in, in Candlestick Park. Yeah, we could have played at Stanford or something. Just re, redo the area or the field. But they said it was zoning issues. Yeah. There was all kinds of things that had nothing to do with the facility itself that they had to move out of the area. I said, man, is that prime real estate sitting right there in the <laughs> middle of Hunter's Point? Wind blowing like crazy. I mean, it ain't that it ain't that nice of a place to be uh-huh. playing, but it's our place. Yeah. <sighs> You're right. And uh oh yeah, when you're talking about the players that should have been gone, I mean Kendrick Bourne still there mm-hmm. making plays. Mm-hmm. And looking good. When people was doubt when people was doubting him, I ain't gonna say no name, but y'all know who y'all is. Y'all listen. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Big show, I mentioned your name, bro. And, <laughs> oh man! Oh yeah, little so. Uh, <laughs> That's him. But uh, and I, like I said, our running backs, our running backs, going to just plow the road, man. Like 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 a like a like a like a, like a mini gun, just letting out number bullets. They just going to rip through all it, and we gonna tear them up. And and, and 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 I seen it. I saw that uh, interview with Joe Montana and his wife. I saw that. You saw yeah, that one, yeah, but that yeah, is hilarious. It. Yeah, I saw she wasn't that. playing. Joe was trying to, yeah, she, nah, she was serious. Joe, <laughs> Joe was like, oh, oh, she, she just, oh, there she goes or whatever. There she goes with her. You know what I'm saying? The face, the face should be on her little. Yeah. She's gonna lie right now, but no, she ain't lying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but I tell you, I take two. I, I always, I take two Super Bowls from. In reality, I take two Super Bowls from Tom Brady. So. Yeah, because cause the Hawks, the Hawks gave that away. That was just stupid. I got yeah. Marshawn Lynch on my team. I'm one yard out to winning this game, and I'm passing the ball? Boy, yeah. they deserve that loss like, so bad. I, I, the, the look on uh, Richard Sherman's face. <laughs> <laughs> but he with us. He with us now. So he, when he makes that face again, you're you going to be making it. going to be the other side of when we win the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's the reason why he's with us, too, Anderson. Because him and Pete Carroll have not yeah, been able but, to get along since that day. They weren't doing well before that anyway. That just did it. Uh. Well, I thank for Pete Carroll for his mess. Up. But, uh, but yeah, uh, I was watching all the uh, video. Who was that that dropped the ball? What, 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 I forgot what is number one. What is it, 18? That's Who Dante, that? Dante Charles Pettis. Four- you know what? Four- no, they wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't what Pettis. T- it was. What, what, what game you talk? Oh, you talking about another game? Nah, it was a the, the pre, nah, it was OTA. I was watching the little film and thing. Oh, uh, the little short. Uh, I know they wasn't Debo Sammy. They dropped their pass. It, it, number eight. Jamie was Jamie was zipping there. Right? Nah, it was on the uh, on the uh, on the site on NFL Network. Hmm. Because we, because uh, Pettis is wearing eighteen. It, we, okay, you got Debo Samuel out there. You got Marquise Goodwin wearing eleven. I forget what Debo's number is. Um, I don't think it was him. It had to be Dante. Yeah, because I know the last one was show was uh, Kendrick Bourne. And you yeah, Kendrick, that, I'm yeah, like. Man, Kendrick don't be. Kendrick's going to fool people this year, including Big Show. I like to yep. mention Big Show. Every time I say something about Kendrick Bourne, I mention Big Show because he's been <laughs> on my boy for, since he arrived. But. Kendrick Bourne yeah. is getting better every year. Last year he was better than he was the year before. If this progression continues, Anderson Kendrick Bourne is going to be a badass this I, year. I think, <laughs> I think, and I think, I think uh, Jimmy G already comfortable where he's been comfortable with throwing to him. Oh uh, yeah, I remember the last, the six games. Oh yeah, he was he was getting he was zipping it to him. Oh, and and tight. I'm talking. Six inch windows, tight windows. Yeah, but man, and Kendrick pull that stuff down. That get that catch he made against the Titans that year. I'll never get over that. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. wondering where the ball he went, and Kendrick be, got up with the ball. Go Whoa, that. man, he made that catch because it because everybody's so focused on uh because he why the the uh, DC is gonna be focused on Kittle and and uh Pettis and everybody else they. Who was that right there in that slot? That's just the shit. Trent uh, Taylor. In there. No, not Taylor. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, no, I know. I'm no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about Kendrick Bourne. He fits. She going. He just gonna run on him. Gonna zip past him. Yeah. He, no. Yeah. He's a good route runner. 
and he goes, route, he gets in and out of routes quick, exactly. And that's one of his that's one of his best attributes. Kendrick Bourne can run a route, razor sharp, and get in and out of that route quickly. And that works good for your quarterback because he can get rid of that ball now within the amount of time that's going to make yeah. make it safe for him as well. And a lot of people think anybody could make the touchdowns Kendrick Bourne made last year. No, they couldn't. See, I Mm-mm. if you. Mm-mm. Oh, they're that fried, wasn't easy. Fried. He made it look easy, but it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't explain to some and, folks. And, and, yeah, some people just don't get it. They, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But uh, but but two seconds. I was counting Jimmy when he passed. Two mm-hmm. seconds. Yeah. Now he's, so I'm like, ooh. He can, he can do all that I'm stuff. Like, I'm, like, I'm like, oh, man, dude, looking like. Looking like the, he looking like that bastard Brady in Foxborough. Because uh, he taller. He's yeah. taller. Jimmy's got uh, that. His his wind up motion and his arm strength is incredible. You know, Jimmy makes a lot of him throws with just arm. That's not even legs involved. So when he uh-huh. sets back, yep. that's why when people say he got no deep ball. If he wants to, he can. If he's got you got that kind of arm juice and you ain't even using your legs. If he sets back, plants uh-huh. that foot and fires, it's going downfield. And as we got, like we got to stop though, ball fam. Sideways. Oh, all right. The sidearm shots. I love that. That's why I say, man, don't. This is all I want to talk about is Patrick Mahomes. But Mahomes is doing something that nobody's yeah. doing. I want to see Jimmy do a no look yeah. pass. <laughs> yeah. Mahomes, I, if, if he keeps doing that, I want somebody to pick that off just once. I want to see somebody pick off the Patrick Mahomes no look pass. I'm going to laugh till yeah. tears going to be rolling down my face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Anderson. I'm a, oh, hey, hey, Anderson, wait, 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 wait. Well, I'm a share, let me share this with you before you go. Big Show has a response uh-huh. to us talking about him. He says this about Kendrick. He said, Kendrick looks good without pads on, but once they're on, he's a horrible player. Hashtag what? keep it 100. What? <laughs> Man, oh, 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 Rombo, we is keeping it 100 because these was with the pads on, man. <laughs> These, like like the pass he caught against the uh, Jaguars when he came out of that slant, touchdown, end zone. Okay, then the next one he got the side little thing, uh, Trent Taylor. Then I think what, uh, hmm, let me mm. think. I think what, a couple plays after that, when Anderson. we got the ball back, I think uh, Anderson, he, he caught care. another one. Big Show does not care yeah, I know he don't. about any of Kendrick Bourne's achievements. As long as he's Kendrick Bourne, he – Big Show will not appreciate it. I'll, if we could win a Super Bowl and Kendrick Bourne went to the end zone with the winning touchdown, Big Show would say it had nothing to do with Kendrick, that it was all about the defense lacking, or it was Jimmy's great place pass. He will not do it. <laughs> Big Show, I want my jersey, oh, man. man. Well, I, I, got a, I, got, I got a problem with that. Then he's not a true 49er fan. Ooh, gotta like everybody. Show. I don't care how. I don't care what it is. He's got to like everybody. It's a team. <laughs> It's a team. But I'm a song go. I'm going to do south the roof to y'all, man. Peace. Sporting out of Empire. Stop hating on Bourne. 84 all the way. There you go. Love it. Have a great night, Anderson. Talk to you Friday. Big show, man. You know, you, you do be tripping. You know that, don't you? Hey, and it's going to 007. Yes, sir. What's up? Ah, 007, man. We're sitting here enjoying the day's activities. And as I say, if there's anything we can be grateful for is the fact that everybody got to the locker room, took a shower, got in a car, and went home. Nobody's down at Stanford Medical Center getting x-rays or anything like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for today, man. And we had a, and they had a good practice, you know? Yeah. This is, this uh, is a great day. Sounds like we had a good practice. Uh, looks like uh, Mitch Wisniewski is playing pretty good. <laughs> got to have a whole Mitch. God, I love this guy already. He is amazing. He didn't just do it once or twice, 007. He consistently does this. Man. Yeah, it looks like he's going to be pretty good. Looks like. Yeah, and then they're talking about him. I I was reading what someone said about uh, Tavarius Moore, how he's uh, going back to safety, how he's played in college. And, um, they're saying how he and Jimmy Ward have been learning multiple positions but mastering none. And I, <laughs> I read that and I'm like, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I mean, that's true. I mean, you should draft yeah. the guy what, what he plays and let him play that. 
we've yeah. been doing a lot of that in the last couple of years. We'll draft some guy here and we'll uh, we'll play him there. The only time that ever worked was with um, what was his name? The fullback that we had with Harbaugh, the white guy, Bruce something. Is it Bruce or Miller? Who's the redhead? The redheaded Bruce, guy. Yeah, Bruce. Bruce Miller. Miller. Bruce Miller. Was it Bruce Miller? Yeah. Did Bruce come in and make that switch? Because I, I thought he'd already he started working on that no, already. He was, he, was, he was a defensive end in college, and they drafted him to play fullback. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's the only time that we, when we ever had a guy that we drafted and we played him at a different position. That and I can't it remember worked. the last time that it worked. And every and other Miller guy was, has been like, it yeah. was good. I mean, he really was. Oh, I really had was, all the confidence in the world when they were, we were going to him. Miller, he'll handle that. And hand oh, he was awesome. punishment. Guy makes tries he to tackle Bruce. It's gonna be a job. So yeah, I agree. Yep, he could run, he could run and he could catch. Yeah. We didn't we didn't use him to run a lot, but he carried the ball every now and again. Yeah, and, and you know his his best thing was Bruce was open a lot. <laughs> I mean, really. He was an H back. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, he really fell out of the league. I remember, I think he like beat up his girlfriend or something like that. No, Bruce went a. He was at a hotel beating up some old guy and the and the guy's son. <laughs> oh, Bruce yeah. is like, yeah. he's one of those guys that can't drink. Uh, I think oh, he, okay. you know when he got he lost his temper. Uh, you know, that, he threw his girlfriend's phone, broke it, and I remember the, that. He got warned about that kind of activity, but you know, that red hair and Bruce, I guess there's a lot of Irish in him, man. An Irish temper got out of control, and it gets out of control on him, and he's still got that problem. Every time I hear about those kind of stories and football players, I always think yeah. about the head injury, and I'm like, man, is it, is, are his head injuries like starting to mess with him, or is he just crazy because football players are crazy? You never know sometimes. It's crazy. Yeah, what's the name of that condition? Uh, CT? CT? What is uh, it? CTE? Yeah. Yeah. Some of these guys, you know what, really? Some of these guys probably are uh, suffering. Because Bruce has his whole life ahead of him, his career and everything, and he had that kind of mind blank? That yeah. that was totally outrageous. Oh. And then I showed the footage of him walking around in that stairwell. It was really eerie. He just kept walking around back and forth, back and forth, as if he knew he screwed up, but there was nothing he could do about it. Because like, you could tell he probably didn't intend to, to go that far, maybe he wanted to say something to the guy or something like that, but don't, don't beat him. And you know, it's really weird. You could tell Bruce lost it completely. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard Richard Sherman is balling in practice. Yeah, he's back. And you know what? He's only wait till the season starts. He's feeling good now. He's jumping routes, doing the Richard Sherman, leaning back, putting mirages up, making wide receivers think they're comfortable, jumps route. <laughs> Whoa, he's the back. Crazy thing, the crazy thing is, um, last year he wasn't even playing bad last year. That's he was only 80%. Thing, is that yeah. He didn't even play bad last year. The quarterbacks weren't even like trying to throw the ball his way. Yeah. 007, 80%. Richard Sherman is probably better than most receivers in the NFL at 100%, you know? So. Oh, yeah, no. Richard Sherman at 100%, he's locked down for the most part. Mm hmm. So we can look forward to that, you know. If Derek, I mean, and Jason, but if Jason, Jason Verrett can come back to at least 90%, we are so set at corner. And I got to tell you, Kella Witherspoon, he may be a lot better than anybody anticipates coming up this year. We got a pass rush 007. A lot of people are going to see guys in the secondary. They had no idea that they could play the way they do. We're going to find out. I like, I like T.J. Reed. I like T.J. Reed. Yeah, he's gonna come. He's gonna be ready for training camp. I, I heard he's gonna be all right for training camp as well. So yeah, he got hurt too. Yeah, he's he uh, a shoulder uh, operation or procedure uh, in the off season. He's still convalescing from. Oh, but, oh okay. Oh, okay. I think I remember reading about that now. Yeah, yeah I wish Kowalski. That's one. That's one guy right there. Where I say, like people sometimes sleep on him, or I just think. He was awesome in college when he played, when he got his opportunity last year to play, he played good. And I just think he has that confidence and he has that like want to be really, really, you can see it and hear it. So he's that person I would say, hey, 
one year or two years from now, that guy might be someone we're like, dude, TJ Reed is a badass. Yeah, he's he's got to, and he, you know he plays corner, which I understand he really enjoys. He doesn't like to play safety, and pretty much the coaches are uncomfortable with him at safety now too. So he's going to be a slot, or um, he's going to be mostly in the slot, I think. He, and you know what? I if, I think push comes to shove, they will let him play corner. He's got a huge wingspan. He's a little short for what they like to do, but uh, yeah, he's been in the slot. He's yeah. been in the slot. Although the way I like to do it, if, if I was making uh, the choices, if he played outside, which I know he did, he played outside corner in college. Mm -hmm. And if he was playing well against receivers who were bigger, let's say like six foot, six foot one, six foot two, then I would say, hey, in the NFL, leave him out there and see how he does. And if he plays well, then hey, you have a guy who's like a, who's that guy who's played for the Browns, that short cornerback, or even the new guy that plays for the Browns. Denzel, Denzel Ward. Ward. Don't mess He's with Denzel. I can't. Oh. Man, you're He's right. Well. He's a baller. I'm like, hey, if this guy did it in college, let him play outside and see. let him see how he does. And we're going to do that in or, training camp, I hope. We'll be right. outside. Or don't waste a draft pick then picking these guys up and going to make them switch to another position. Go ahead and get the kid that actually specializes in what you want. I'll never understand why they do be. that. Huh. Yeah, let that be plan B. Like, okay, like he can't play outside because Jordan Matthews burns him every play, every play because he's too big. So we'll put him on. Like, let him at least give him a chance. So that's some guy I like in the secondary. Yeah, that's some time. Hey, double oh seven. We're out of time. I'll tell you what. I'll look for you Friday, and hopefully you got some time, and uh, we'll talk some more. See what happens in tomorrow's oh, OTAs. I don't know if you heard. That. There was some breaking news I heard earlier. You know, someone there's another injury. I think. There's another you, injury. You just you heard about that? that? You heard about that what, just now? Like an hour ago. Who was it? Yeah. It was Jimmy Ward. <laughs> I keep setting you guys I keep setting you guys up for these. <laughs> Double seven, you're getting out of here right now. I want you off my phone. I'll see you Friday, you mean man. <laughs> like I said, Jimmy Ward was in the shower and slipped and fell on the soap. He'll be out for another added six weeks. Good night, 007. <laughs> you guys are cold, man. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, good. It's Tyler. Tyler. Run, boom, my man. Tyler. So I guess you're okay, huh? No, uh, no, no tornadoes circling through uh, or in your area. Well, actually, it was looking pretty ugly out earlier, but yeah, you know, those surrounding states, surrounding states, from us are getting them. So yeah, that's why I said when they when they said it was they were spinning through Illinois. I said, oh, oh no, because you don't want to see it happen anywhere. Nah, I mean, but then the first like, thing I thought Ohio, about was you. In Ohio, Ohio that, like oh. half, half, literally, like uh, about. Five million people, which the population of Ohio is about eleven million. So almost half the people in Ohio were out of power because tornadoes were running through there. Tyler, have you ever saw? Crazy man. Have you ever experienced or seen a tornado up close or anywhere near? I have not seen it in person, though. Yeah. And you don't want to. But I have seen similar weather, and it's nasty, man. Yeah, that's. But but the thing that's scary about a tornado is there's no warning. That monster sets down on the ground. I, what is the time span you got to make a move? You got like five, you can't outrun a twister. Uh, yeah, the thing is, like, you know, they get like uh, like sirens that go off whenever there's a watch or whatever, or something like that. Then you, they you, sirens usually go off twice, two or three times whenever one's definitely going to come. God. And and what do you do? Head west, north? I mean, what, what, which direction do you run if you're going to run? Now you just get in the basement, man. Get yeah, the basement, right. Don't be you, trying to run. Or you, or you get, or you yeah. get in a room with windows, without windows. I mean, and hunker down, huh? And just because I mean, I heard yeah. that one story I heard about the lady was in her closet and she was hanging on to the closet uh, rail, and everything got sucked out of that room except for her. I mean, she must have an incredible grip. It says it took everything out of the house and just her and that rail in the closet. One wall was the only thing left. I said, you know what? If anybody doesn't believe in God, this was that day when somebody was watching her. That's scary. Oh, yep. man. Ooh. Definitely. Man. Yeah. 
Anyway, let's talk about something more pleasant. Now that you're back and you're okay, man. Hey, today's OTAs went okay. I mean, yep. except for the fact that I just got a report of Jimmy Ward getting hurt a second time, and we know that's not true. But I guess guys actually, no, actually camp. Is, that, no, no, it actually is true. He broke his foot. No, it's not. Come on, guys. This is not April. Cut it out. <laughs> no, he broke his foot. I, I guarantee you, look it up. I'm not going to look it up. He did not. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm I kidding. Know I'm it. part of the J Dub fan club too. But he's got. <laughs> All right. You got to stay healthy. He does. And if he can stay healthy, I got to feel we got something special there. I want to. I want to see him. He's gonna. Over the top. What he's gonna need to do is he's gonna have to strap on a pair because he obviously can't grow a pair. <laughs> so. Tyler, man, that's. That's rough. If, hey, listen. If anybody's got nerve, it's got to be J Dub though. What do you What do you mean diving, diving in no pads? We're talking about competitive spirit that takes over sometimes, you over good judgment. You don't dive. You're not wearing any pads. And George yeah, Kittle's I, out like, there diving today too. What you guys doing? I, I, you know what? If I was Shanahan, I'd call. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's all let's all get in here for a minute, please. All right, guys. Here's what I want you to know. Remember, you're not wearing any pads. I, I don't need to be impressed today. We're just going through drills, and we want to learn a few things here. The next guy that dives is gonna. I'm gonna have him go take a shower, guys. Cause seriously, give me a break. Say the diving I really for would. the games. Come on now. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Like yeah. whenever I hear about him diving, I think it's Raheem Mostert arm break. Ooh, one of the worst. God, that nasty. was vicious, wasn't it? Yeah, we seen that bone buckle right under. You the hear skin. the screaming. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. He's like, ah. And then God. he tries to tough it out. He's like puffing his cheeks. And then he's like walking over the sideline, walks to the locker room, gets back in the locker room. He's like, ah. You know, yeah, you don't, want to see, you, don't, you don't want anybody to see you crying walking down the field. I would have said, screw this, man. I'm crying. <laughs> this hurts. I'm telling <laughs> yeah. you guys, this hurts like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> yeah. He's like, come here. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, but uh, all the quarterbacks were making good throws out there. The defense was shutting it down. You know what's so funny? Because Dre brought in a stat I didn't notice. Time out. It was, huh? Time out. What? Time out. You said all the quarterbacks were making good throws. I know that's a lie because CJ ain't. No, no, CJ had a couple of TDs. I don't know what no, unit he was playing against. I'm just messing with you because I think Nick's way better. But No, he is. Nick had a great day. In fact, yeah, Nick Nick's put uh, – we got that new linebacker that was just – he was pretty much working Nick – uh, in the beginning or somewhere during the course of practice. Oh, what's that guy's name? He's a new kid. Anyway, he was working Nick uh, in the beginning. Uh, uh, the, the, the rookie, I, forgot, I keep forgetting his name. Yeah, same here. But, uh, we'll we'll, we'll know his name after a while. Anyway, he was working Nick in the beginning. He was picking Nick off. No, no, not Dre Greenlaw. Another guy. Uh, May, 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 May. Anyway. Oh, Mayo, the, the dude from Carolina. Yeah, right. Mayo, yeah. Mayo was working Mullins for the first couple of plays, right? Mullins says, okay, you know what? Oh, that's it. Mullins went to work on him after that. <laughs> you got hey, Nick Mullins is not a guy to fool with. You can tell he's got that kind of attitude. Okay, that's uh, you guys know who I am. I'm Nick Jesus. I'm Nick Mullins. And then he goes to work on you. <laughs> yeah, like if we're rating our quarterbacks on a scale, yeah. CJ's a two. CJ's a two. Mullins is a five. Oh, Jimmy's <laughs> Man, we're going to take a look at the chat real quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, oh, no. Uh, we, uh, is that Steve Henry you're talking about? Trez? Yeah, Rumbo. They, yeah, we, we, we uh, just got rid of Steve Henry. Yeah, Steve Henry's out of here. Oh, okay, you kicked him out. We right put there. the block on him. On yeah, he, you know, some guys just got no class. That's all right. He's done. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. <Dres. laughs> uh, All right, so for rating our quarterbacks on a scale, let's put CJ is a two, Nick is a six, and Jimmy's a ten. Yeah. You know, I although he's just that much better. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You know, he's. I I, I feel sorry for CJ because he's such a good kid. I I don't know. You know where. What happens later? Because he can't go back to the practice squad. I don't think he's eligible now. Well, he might be, but I don't think anybody's going to lift him out of the practice squad. So he can actually stay there and learn some more if the 49ers wanted to keep him on the, pay on the payroll. I don't know how much he's getting. Oh, he's getting a rookie contract, though. I wonder, Tyler, yeah. what are you going to do with CJ? They're going to have to trade him. They're going to have yeah. to trade him somewhere. 
going to have to. Gonna have to. He's, he's not. If, if Kyle keeps hanging on to this dream, he's gonna. He's only gonna hurt us in the future for that. And himself like, too. CJ is just. He's not. He's not. In, He's not in a position. Go ahead, say it. Shannon's you want, you want to? Say, to I was thinking it. Anymore. Go ahead, say it. What, what were we gonna say? Shannon is, in a, Shannon is not in a position to be screwing around anymore. He he knows that it's best for the team if Nick Mullins is our backup. So what do you do with CJ? What you need to do is talk. Call Bell. Train to Jacksonville. Train to Jacksonville for the backup job. Yeah. I. But would you trade, Tyler, if you were like a, a franchise owner or GM? Would you take that deal for like what team? Any team. I and what are you going to give back? Are you going to give me a seventh round pick at least? Or what are you, how are you going to do? Yeah, I was, I was going to say seventh rounder or another player or whatever. But also, what I'm not happy with uh, is he, he better just be a camp buddy. I just thought they signed Dante Johnson. Yeah, he, he better get out of here. Mad. No, no, no it, listen. No, no, people were saying, oh, he was so good. I missed him. What? Listen, right. No, no. Yeah, spe- I saw people on Instagram saying it. Like, what? He was so you good. Did. I missed him. Listen, listen. He gets one pick six off of Blake Bortles. All of a sudden, he's good. If you watch the man closely, he's always blowing coverages. Let's not even play this game. And, just, and Tyler. Just because you get the pretty play once. Well, let's correct that, though. Uh, it was, it was, <laughs> Reed made a tip. And that's why Dante was able yeah. to make that play. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> had nothing to what do. Happened, what yeah. happened was Eric Reed. Eric Reed was coming down on the running back. The running back was scared, or the receiver, whoever it was running back. The receiver running back got scared and like dropped the ball because he knew the Eric Reed was coming, bracing to get hit. Yeah. And then it got tipped up in the air. So Dante is Dante is terrible, man. Like, yeah. let's, I'm just I'm just gonna be real with it. Yeah, he, he's, he's, not, he's terrible. He blows coverages. Uh, no, not I'm, I'm not comfortable. He better just be a camp body. He's not a corner. And he's injuries actually and stuff. A, a, another one of those reconversions that didn't work out. So Dante's just camp meat. And uh, if he does make this team, we're all going to be shocked because I everybody read at the same time. I could hear all the play. Oh no! <laughs> I was wishing he would have stayed in Seattle, man. I nah. wish he would have started for Seattle. He's been I several wish. places since. He was in Seattle last year, and I was like, you know what? I hope he starts. He's been to two or three teams. Jimmy, I knew Jimmy G would torch him up. Oh, God. Just like, remember that guy we got, uh, Trent Baalke picked up from the from the Chargers that year? That cornerback, I forget his name. Um, and we played against, uh, we actually played against Baltimore, and Cap, Cap just lit him up the whole game. We won that game. Because of that cornerback that they traded to, uh, that Baltimore picked him up. They didn't trade. He just went there as a free agent, I think, because Tom Sula cut him. And Cap just ate him up all game long. <laughs> yeah. I said, you know, dude should have known. If you're going to play that dude, we already know how he plays. And Cap sees him, yeah. seeing him for how long? He's dead meat. We went buck wild in that game. Yeah, man. Hilarious. Yeah, that, that, was, that, game, was, that game was fun. But the uh, <sighs> thing is, you know, I mean – Think about this, Dante Pettis. Uh, most people are saying that he's looking really good and that he should break out. So yeah. if he breaks out, you got a number one wide receiver on the outside, and then you got Debo Samuel, who's probably going to be really good in this system oh, too. And then you, and then, you're, then you got you can just see you see the vision coming together. You got Kittle also. Yeah. And then you you're going to have uh, what's I keep th- I keep forget uh, Jalen Hurd could be a weapon. Yeah, you we also don't got a good yeah, exactly. good winner. Oh, Goodwin yes. gets stronger. Yeah, man, he, he, he's gonna, if, Jimmy loves Goodwin, man. Hundred yards in like almost every game with Jimmy. Mm-hmm. And also, you have to take into account. <laughs> I want to think. There's a video the other day that Adrian Colbert posted. Marquise Goodwin came into the locker room with like all orange on, and then Adrian Colbert comes up and he's like, he's like, why is this Halloween? And then he's like, he's like making fun of him and stuff. <laughs> Damn. He's like, get your out of here. <sighs> Tyler, we're going to go. Hey, Tyler, we're going to go. And I'm, I'm delighted to hear you're doing all right. I look forward to your call here Friday night, huh? Yep. Niner right. and partner Niner for life. Forever faithful. Jimmy G, stay away from them hoes. <laughs> Bye, Bob. <laughs> night, Tyler. Uh, yeah, Fab, I want to I apologize about the uh, the Henry character. Oh, you know, and this is this is what we got to deal with this on this planet. You know, there's got, there's always going to be those individuals that pretty much their existence means nothing but the representation of the devil himself. Uh, 
try not to acknowledge him. We will get him out as fast as possible. We've already put the uh, the block on him. He may come back as another name, but we'll continue to work with that. Uh, don't give me any energy, though. These are the kind of people that try to get attention, and if you don't give it to them, they lose their uh, they lose their purpose, of course, and they you know you you're getting back at them when you don't react. So anyway, um, Mr. Instigator. Yeah, I already did it. <laughs> we just did. Thanks, fam. All right. Hey, and Trez, come on in here, Trez. Let me get, my, let me get the bowl of red and gold. Oh, boy, yeah. the, uh, <laughs> the block, uh, Hold up. Wait a minute. Yeah. Rumbo's on the pussy red and gold. We got okay. guys sprinkling everywhere. Got it. Celebration. And Trez, I'm celebrating because nobody got hurt today. Throwing it everywhere. Behind the shoulder, no, too. This no, is good no, luck. No, no, no. We had we had a Jimmy Ward sighting. Rumble. I know that. <laughs> Everybody's sighting Jimmy Ward as getting hurt as he was in the hospital. Nurses tried to help him into the bathroom so he could go take a shower. He went in there, and of course no, I, he went down and broke something else. Yeah, no, I actually saw him in the free agency pool for her player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trash ain't been cut yet. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh God! How about that, Mabo? Yeah, I'm. I'm telling you, right? Well, say, as I say, Trez, you know, offense, defense. You know what I like? They said the quarterbacks, all of them, was like fifty-fifty on the day. This is the kind of thing you always want to hear about, because that means the defense wasn't getting lit up and the offense was not being held down. So that's almost like a good day. Yeah, it's a good day for right now, Rumbo. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, we're just going through what we call the formalities right now, getting used to everybody building the bond. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and learning a few uh, plays because they got, a, they got a lot to learn, yeah. especially some of them new yeah, people. Yeah, they got a lot to learn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. in a short amount of time. Yeah, it's, 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 the season's going to be here before you know it, Rumbo. Oh, some Well, Rumbo, I got a special guest here tonight. Uh, somebody wants to talk. You remember I told you about that Falcon fan, Lisa? You know, she said she had a few choice words for you, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna turn this, I'm gonna turn this over to her right now, what? Rumbo. Okay, you got so, Lisa right there. <laughs> right here. Hold on, Rumbo. Here right, she yeah. is. Right. Let her, let her in there. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa. Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't the Niners doing over there. At least the Niners Those are doing this fine. Lisa, you cannot steal that stuff, Lisa. You got to come, Lisa. And besides, hey. let me let me help you with that. You got to put a little more emphasis in the middle. Uh, let me let me. You got to reach way back for it, Lisa. Okay, okay, okay. Let me try to do it. Get a round of applause. Lisa. No, I, tell I, you just, what. I just wanted to know how the how the how the Falcon Niners are doing over there. Well, the, see, you, you, you're right about that. We we get one more Falcon, and it's pretty much going to have to be the the 49er Falcon. Four, well, how can we make that four nine Falcons? Yeah. See, no, we got Tololo. We got Tevin. We got a. I believe we got an offensive lineman. We we got the OC. Boy, I, listen, you're right. But get this, but get this. I'm I'm gonna tell you a little secret. You know, mm. Kyle is really waiting on Julio. He thinks yeah, we're not gonna cut the deal with Julio, yeah, but we I, we're gonna make it work. We keep the Julio. So I tell him he needs to just go ahead and just keep practicing with the ones he has because we're not time. giving up anybody no time soon. That's gonna hurt his feelings. <laughs> I can't tell him that, Lisa. That's just cold. You know, there must be something we can do to get. What would you take to give up Julio? Uh, we won't take anything to give up Julio. <laughs> <laughs> not even two first round picks, would you? You know, that's how much no, it would cost, not too. Not even two first round. <laughs> Lisa, don't we play y'all this year? You do. We we're going to uh, San Francisco this year. Oh, and when you and when you get here, I hope you enjoy the food because the game is not gonna be pleasant, Lisa. <laughs> well, guess what? We we will resume this conversation after yes. the game because oh. we already know who's we. In, in fact, what, when we get there, yes, we want y'all to rise up with us. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Every intention of doing so, Lisa. You know what I like about the Falcons? They wear red, so. 
will be wearing red. And maybe maybe they'll make that an alternative game. Maybe we can wear white that game. And that way y'all can stand out so you, we can see you and laugh. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, you're going to laugh. You're going you're gonna to laugh while crying because we're going we're gonna to come out the winners. Let's make a game. prediction. We're going to beat make, you all. What, how, how bad you going to beat us? Levi Stadium. What's the name of your stadium? Levi Stadium. Yeah, Levi Stadium. Yeah. How bad you going to whoop us? <laughs> how, how bad is it going to be? Well, I would say we're going to – I would say we would be mm, 35 <laughs> to 7. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I mean, y'all have the ball all day. And actually, Mm -hmm. we can't move the ball at all against that hardcore (laughs) Falcon defense. And we couldn't do nothing about Matty Ice. And by the way, Lisa, I I, I hate to inform you of this, but you do know that Kyle Shanahan knows everything there is to know about Matty Ice. And he also knows what scares him and what works him and how to mess his mind up. Okay. Well, maybe he, I mean, but, but see, things have changed since he left there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Things so, have gotten worse. Exactly. Yeah, you I know, know that. Mm-hmm. well, worse for you all, not for us. I mean, we <laughs> had a little bad time for last year because, you know, you all had injuries and we yeah. so did we, yeah. you know, I think, mm-hmm. I think those ain't, those ain'ts are the one that put the voodoo on everybody. So but well, yeah. neither here, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. So, I just say that um, Cal Cal don't really Mm -hmm. know um, Matt Ryan like you think he does. (laughs) You know, he knew him, you know, during that time, but Matt has changed. Yes. It's it's gonna be we we're gonna we're gonna do something this year. Just watch. And when we and we when we and when we win, yeah, I want you to do your little call. Yeah, and I want you to say Falco. <laughs> Trez, Trez, come and get Lisa. Rise she, up, she, rise up. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh <laughs> Bye, Rumbo. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> oh, it's been a pleasure, Lisa. Great to hear from you. <laughs> that's Have a, a good that's, night. That's a love, that's a love, Rumbo. That's a love, Rumbo. I agree. Well, she does, came and adopted that's the enough. holler and everything else. Yeah. And gave us seven yeah, points. Yeah. Seven, seven holler, points, Rumbo. Trez. Yeah. We ain't going to do that's nothing. You know, that's, 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 this is what you have to deal with when you live in the enemy territory, Rumbo. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Especially they've been uh, to the Super Bowl. Not, I bet your Falcons fans yeah. got to be besides themselves now, Tress. Tress, though, all you got to do is remind them constantly, y'all made an attempt to get your first Super Bowl. I'm talking five times. And, but in fact, all of us will be off the planet before y'all get five rings. Yeah. So it'll never be equal. That's, 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 <laughs> the, difference. that's the difference, Rumbo. You want you walk in their building and the case is empty. You walk in our building and you got five of them sitting in your face. You know what I'm saying? Well, we got to jump those off, though, right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> It's one of the glass. It's one of the places, Trez, where you see the cabinets there, the dust in there, a couple of flies that went in there and died, and uh, somebody left a sandwich, half a sandwich in the in the glass case. I mean, it just ain't being used. Yeah. Exactly, Rumble. Exactly. <laughs> Look, Rumbo, we ain't going to hold you up no longer mm. there. She just wanted to make her appearance, and I told her you had something to say to her about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There was no it. feeling to call. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love Lisa. I can't wait. You know what's going to be? Because the thing is, later on, we're going to have this conversation again. Like she says, let her get ready to give her the foul. I'm a, you know what, Tress, I'm going to make this promise right now. If the Falcons whoop the 49ers, I'm going to give the Falcon holler Niner fashion. Okay, gotcha. He yeah, said, if y'all win, he going to get a fucking call, Nana Star Holler. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. And she going to do the same okay. thing. And she going to do the same thing you you if the 49ers the win. Thing. If the 49ers win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well, have a good one, man. You too, Travis. <laughs> have a good night. Shout out to TNT, the Hall of Fame. And shout out to everybody over there in the chat, keeping it live. Hey, yeah. hit that like, and we out, Rumbo. Yeah. Great to hear from you, fam. Night, Lisa. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, and, and <laughs> Mr. Instigator says she on some. She's on some. He says, Lisa, thirty-eight to twenty-nine. Lisa, we got a prediction here coming from this side of the, uh, 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 of the of the playing field. It's thirty-eight to twenty-nine, San Francisco all day, every day. There you go. 
one of these scores is going to be accurate. You know what? 38-29 does sound about right because the Falcons are pretty high-powered. Um, and the 49ers are probably going to be pretty high-powered at that time, too. Although I do see Kyle telling Salad just exactly what bothers Matty Ice. And it could be a little crazy out there that day. Because all we got to do is don't let nobody beat you but Julio. You know, stop everything around Julio but Julio. Now, can they beat us with just Julio? Do them Belichick fashion. You know what I'm saying? Sheik! Robo! What's going on, man? Sheik, man, I'm telling you, man, it's all going on, man. We got we got out of OTAs today and nobody's hurt. Uh, they had a good workout. Some guys learned some things. They learned some things about the guys out on the field. We got Tavares Moore. We finally get to see what he looks like playing a safety position. I imagine we'll see that during preseason games. And Jimmy G is out there dotting them I's and crossing them T's. The leg is not bothering him. His competitive juice is taking over. He's looking good. But she, what's on your mind? On my mind right now, hey, um, Lisa, 2012. <laughs> uh yeah. NFC Championship. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's having fun. And, and, and <sighs> thanks for Kyle Shanahan because he, he's back home where he belongs. <laughs> for Tevin Coleman. <laughs> oh yeah, Tevin. I forgot to ask uh, Lisa about Tevin. So how does she feel about that Toledo. exit? Toledo. Yeah. And and holy and holy Toledo. You know, thanks for that time. <laughs> but anyways, uh, Rombo. Uh, you know the thing is. Uh, you know, it's a great day. It's a new day for the, you know, the 49ers. Um, it's, there's no injury. It's a good positivity mm. all day. Uh, we're moving guys that should have been in their position from the get-go. Uh, Moore, uh, Hospital Ward. <laughs> it's in the sidelines wondering what is he going to do. I my job he, is on the line. I wonder if he is on the sideline. <laughs> I, is, I wonder if Jimmy's allowed to walk around. I, can he, I, I, Jimmy, just sit still, okay? Just don't shake or bother anything. Get, yeah. Just get in your bubble, man, and just yeah. chill. Because you know, I, I don't want him to <laughs> suddenly explode out of the field diving for anything. I still can't believe he did that. Oh, that could have been so easily yeah. avoided. Okay, anyway, he'll, get, he'll be back. And, and we also, like, I don't know if uh, – you heard this or not? This guy. Oh shoot! I just lost it. Um, we just got a scout um, from uh, the Bears. And now he's in our staff now. Um, so that's kind of like breaking news this recently. Um, he is. I guess he's really a top scout. I guess in the Bears. Um, really? So that, I didn't see this yeah, report. Yeah, I just. Yeah, I just saw it like on um, uh, what was it? Uh, Niner Nation, I think it was on the tweet earlier. Mm, okay. Somebody else tweeted it, but. I just lost it. But anyways, um, you know, the thing is, Rombo, that with all the guys that we're going to get in, all the defensive guys and the pass rushers that we have, you know, it's going to be all the chemistry is everything. And, um, you know, the thing is, people, the weakness of the 49ers, I, in my opinion, is the safety and the strong safety because it's, they're constantly hurt, but they're hungry and they're coming back. Um, I'm not losing faith on Adrian, Adrian Colbert. I understand people want – Jimmy Ward in more to take over. They're frustrated with more with, I'm sorry, not more, uh, Colbert for the sophomore slump. But I think with a lack of pass rusher that we had, make, you know, they just got pointed out and they got on their weakness and they just pointed out because there's no defense. I think Adrian Colbert is going to be good, but I think altogether the defense is going to be good. They're going to make the secondary good. Mm. Not just Colbert, just everybody in general. Um, so it's going to be a different team, man. And also, uh, uh, what's going to call it? Um, I was uh, listening to Sala, and he was, like, bringing up on uh, saying that they got uh, – when they got James Woods, he's also in the Kiffin tree and the Fraser tree as well. So that's kind of interesting. They're going to have different styles of defense. They're going to do the wide nine. They're going to do different type of pass rush. So it's going to be different type of – pass rush that we're going to have in this team. And I'm excited because it's going to be, <laughs> we're finally going to have football that, you know, the nine away that we should. Yeah, so. and we can appreciate. Yes. Agreed. Yeah. And, uh, 
you know, all these guys on the other teams, like, you know, I see Texas born in the chat, you know, cowboy this, cowboy, ah, oh, come on, man. <laughs> you guys have no money. <laughs> There's, I, I, I know some Patriot fan has made his uh, way in as well. Patriot. And and like what's yeah, his name yeah. says what what uh, uh what's his name five two four oh uh, anyway he says we'll never see Cardinals fans they don't have any fans those are paid spectators they don't have out any there fans. <laughs> <laughs> they don't buy admission yeah, tickets man. they're recruited <laughs> that's a that's a great insult I Sheik I just wish we could have used that on Rudy you know <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah Rudy. He's been ghosting, you know, those three points in the, in the no. chat. People are just destroying it, so he's ghosting right now. He's and I'm loving it. I'm, you know, you know what? You know that Henry guy. You know, you know, don't let the hit behind you right in your head because you definitely don't you don't belong here anymore. Um, we, we, but the we, Patriots. We I'm glad that the Patriots beat the um, uh, what's going to call it the Rams because they deserve it because all their yeah. ego was so high, and that's that's the thing about like the history of championship teams, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the even the Patriots, I'll even say the Patriots, the Cowboys, the Niners, we win with class. We don't go glow and be stupid like the Eagles, the Rams, you know, these other teams are just like, think they're doing something, but they're like, we've been there. Act like we've been there. and We've been doing it well. That's why we're the five-time Super Bowl champions, and we run the West. Mm-hmm. Arizona, the Rams, come on. <laughs> you know, division and champions doesn't mean nothing yeah. if you don't have a Super Bowl. Yeah. It's like Jed York said that. Remember Jed York says, we don't win championships. We we win Super Bowls. <laughs> yes. yes, that's what matters. And it's so hilarious. I see all the people in, in, like, the, you know, Facebook and, like, forums and this and that. I'm like, dude, like, really? You guys are gloating about division championships. Like, you, you, you're like, oh, yeah, we're the division. We're going to win the division. I'm like, that's it? Oh man! They, well, it's, you know, it's so, you know, she, bad, a lot of teams—they're not their teams are not designed, or organizations are not designed for the fans to get too excited about the big ring. They've never been there. Some teams, like, yeah. can you imagine being a, a Lions fan and somebody says something about Lions could go to the Super Bowl this year? Even Lions fans would be laying on the floor laughing, you know. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and let me let me give you another team: the Browns. The Browns, oh. like, like you guys mentioned, the shit stink for like sixty. When was the last time you even touched the playoffs? And you think about your paper, all the great names that you have on paper is going to be. Let me tell you this: go over five hundred, and then then talk to me. <laughs> yeah, Florio and, and Sims were it. talking yeah. about that last week, especially Sims. Sims is going really off on it. He says, you know, people need to realize this team has not really got a culture that really understands or comprehends what it is to play championship football just yet. Now, there are a bunch of young kids who really believe in themselves, but there's a lot of things that have to fall into place before they start waltzing into the playoffs and waltzing toward second and third round playoff uh, rounds. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of mental stress involved there. And I'm sitting there listening, I'm thinking, you know, I've been guilty of thinking that the Browns are going to hurt somebody this year. That's not a given. Not yet. Mm -hmm. It may take some maturity. Yeah. you know, Baker Mayfield is a good quarterback. They got all the pieces you need, but there's a couple of elements that you got to have. Like when you're making a good dish, right? All the, the meat's fresh, the vegetables are fresh. Uh, this is the, this is good. This is going to work. Everything's right. But the seasoning is yep. that's what's going to determine right. whether or not this dish is going to work or not. And I think you can apply that same analogy. Uh, to the Browns, who look really scary, but can they put it yeah. all together? And that's up to the coach and some other things too. So we'll see. Especially exactly. that Monday night well, game. But and then, uh, yeah, and it, it, you know, they go spend all the money on the people. Oh, let me just spend a little more money. It doesn't no, that doesn't. That's not seasoning. It's like just chemistry, and then just the foundation. You gotta have to round every piece in your found, uh, organization. You gotta be good. But this, the, the Browns, like, come on, man, the Browns. Are we talking about the Browns? <laughs> like, they, uh, and yeah, and you know, know. Shik, we've, you know we've been in the same, we've been the same boat. But I, you know, what I like, I like the people that are involved. When you look from top, you look at Kasork dealing with the uh, the front. You look at Shanahan, who's oh, young, but he, uh, this guy's battle tested and hardened. He's learned everything you can learn yeah. in football. He's learned from his father, and he had the bad experience against Lisa's Falcons. You know, these are the things that 
make a man ready. He's dealt with Belichick's got all the respect in the world for this guy. I think Shanahan now has what he needed. He needed to get that beating in, in Atlanta. He needed the humility of the last two years. I think he's learned yeah. enough now to turn that corner. He was already there knowledge-wise, but now look out for Shanahan. Whoa, because this guy yeah, that intelligent. And he's taking this. Yeah, and the intelligence and get these like wide receivers that we got: Debo Samuel, Jalen Hurd, the freaking Swiss Army knife. Mm -hmm. And then you know Matthews, Jordan Matthews. Oh, he's a big tall. They're all. And they're he's all becoming red Jimmy's be go-to guy already. You know. Yeah, and Jimmy and, G. And, and, and look at the talk punter. How about Jimmy G? Oh, Jim, Jimmy oh, started. God. I thought it was gonna take him a little longer. Jimmy's already making all the throws. <laughs> so that knee. He, he, his confidence is going to be sky high soon. And then, you know, the thing about, you know, people say, oh, special teams. Like, no, special teams is a big core of the, you know, playing the game. Because if you don't have those 10-yard red zones, you know, today, uh, Matt Mioka said, you probably saw the tweet. He mm. said that, that 10 times he went under 10 yards, three under <laughs> five yards or three yards. Like, when's the last time do you remember? Anna Lee, maybe, around that time? The you know, special team is everything, and that's yeah, another core I, that we have. To I've do. never heard of a kicker that could do that consistently. Now, they, they may ring it up two times out of it. Maybe a guy gets five or six punts a game. He might do it once or twice. But this guy, and I, I just say, hey, you guys need to temper that. It's practice. Okay. But a lot of guys can't do that even in practice. So I'm, I'm impressed, and I don't mind being impressed. The kicker's not, and especially this kicker. You stress this guy, he'll just run out of the way. He'll still kick it, and he'll kick it with accuracy. That's scary yeah. for any defensive unit. I love it. Woo so, let me, let me, exactly, Ramon. I know you're closing shot, but let me yeah. also say with the Rob, Robbie Gold. Robbie mm. Gold, wake up. This is you're becoming a new dynasty right now. Join us. Go in that you want to win. The Bears are just, they're not doing anything. <laughs> Anyways, Rombo. <laughs> Thank Big you. Bell! Hit that <laughs> like for Rombo Sports. Like, sub, share. Because he's the man, baby. And respect the chat or hit the door. And yeah, we, we, we got that thing, Kim. Thanks so much. Thank Look for your Friday. You're huh? the best. Thank you for your platform. Thanks, Thank you for your platform, yeah. brother. And hey. shout out to TNT. Shout out to everybody calling. Shout out to Niall Tackle. Here you go. All right. Here goes Sheik. And uh, we'll see. And uh, John Milner says, What's up, Niner fam? Did she just predict 49 to score 35 Falcon 7? <sighs> she did, John. Lisa really did it. She said we're going to be lucky to get seven points. Seven. That's it. And that may not be. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. What's up? She just predicted 49 to score San Francisco 35. Oh. Hey, John, you know, I read your tweet, bro. <laughs> I mean, you're bad, bro. I, it was a, she just predicted 49 to score 35, and she gave her Falcon seven. <laughs> I, I I like that I like that better. I could see our defense doing that. It's like I said. Who knows? The only people that know Matt Matty Ice better than, than Kyle Shanahan are possibly his mom and his wife, maybe his children. Beyond that, nobody knows Matty Ice better than Kyle Shanahan. So you know, I, I mean, I could, he, Kyle will probably have a little posters pinned on the side uh, or somewhere out there have fans putting signs up like. Matty Ice is seeing ghosts. Matty Ice sees ghosts. Because that's what he did pretty much in the Super Bowl. He didn't trust his receivers anymore at one point during the course of that game. He fell out of the game. And Kyle Shannon says, I said, why should I stop doing what got us here in the first place and got the score up to where it was? Matty Ice no longer trusted his receivers. He started seeing people who weren't there. He just started basically folding and going shut down. Boom. Belichick, that's all he needed. Hey, JT! <laughs> JT! Hey, what's up, Rombo? Hey, JT. JT, I get, can I get you close your volume on, uh, on uh, whatever your listening device is? Because it's feeding into your mic. Not, not the child. She, she's okay. Or he's okay. <laughs> I mean, just your, your speaker. No, I, I can't. I can't mute the child. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. I just want to, just the feedback on the speaker. <laughs> JT, what's up, man? You know, hey, we're uh, enjoying the fact today that you know 
we were talking about putting Tavarius Moore. Can we look at him? And uh, can we please see what he looks like at free safety? Coach, he's one, he's one of the best in the nation. When you drafted him, you bring him to Santa Clara. All right, kid, here's what you want to do. We want to see what you look like at cornerback. What? <laughs> you know, and practice looked pretty good today. A lot of guys did a lot of good things, especially Jimmy G. And the spotlight's on him on each and every practice. G was out there doing a good job, lighting it up. I didn't hear about any INTs. He missed a few, but nobody picked him off, and that's always important to me. But uh, go ahead. What are you thinking? You know, Rombo, just like I was saying the other night, they need to give Tavar- Tavarius more, give, give him a crack at his natural position. Mm-hmm. And they listened you know, to it. And, we'll and, 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 look, and, look, and look what's happening. See, mm-hmm. it's just gonna it's just gonna make it's just gonna tighten up our defense, Rombo. I know. We yeah. we, 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 we we got the pass rush. We we got a great pass rush. We got a great front seven. I mean I mean, come on. What 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 more do we need? I think we're we're gonna we're gonna we're 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 in, we're in elite. We're in elite. On, we're in elite on both sides of the ball. And then wait, wait. We got we got to play at least half a season before we start using terms like elite. But you know what? They got a good chance, better than we've had in years. This team doesn't have any holes. You may have a couple of holes here and there that some people look at as holes, but this team is not full of holes like it was back in 2015, 16, 17. Well, 17 wasn't so bad, but it wasn't good yet. Last year was a good team, which should have probably went to the at least eight and eight, but. This team with an edge rush and a couple more pieces we got, and offensively, they fortified that offense. Kyle's got some nourishment out there in that offense now, J.T. He can hurt somebody. You got four running backs that can do a job on any defense in the league. I got an offensive line that's been together for the second year in a row. I got wide receivers that got a little bit seasoned in them. I got Jimmy G back there looking good. <laughs> I like what I got coming hey. up. Hey, don't forget we got uh, Richard Sherman, and Jason Verrett in the backfield. I mean, all I'm waiting for is Verrett to say, Coach, I can give you 90%. And, Coach, you know, Jason Verrett, 90% is better than most of the NFL at 100%. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what? Not a lot of, if, if you really think about it, how many corners in the NFL can 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 rotate their hips like that in coverage? Yep, and at, and on in a split second. And, and and JT, how many can say that Antonio Brown wants nothing to do with me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know I. I, I I'd, I'd be going back and I'd be looking at those highlights and, and I'd be saying to myself, if he can cover Antonio Brown like that, then he can cover anybody. He there you can go. Cover OBJ, anybody. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I still kind of what? Well, you guys, I just heard you guys. Someone mentioned that uh, Richard Sherman was covering uh, Dante Pettis earlier, pretty good. Yeah. Sherm is doing the Sherm too. Sherm is like la- lagging back, playing back because you know he's so good at anticipating and jumping routes, right? They said Sherm was playing off him Sherm style of old. He said Jim Dante got out there, thought he had something. Sherm raced across that field. Sherm said he was uh, he made the play, bobbled it, and went out of bounds. And Sherm came back. Ah, my feet was planted. He's already competitive. My feet were planted on the ground, man. Sherm ain't gonna be no replays. Out of bounds. Return the ball to the offense. <laughs> I love it. They're getting real competitive out there, JT. <laughs> I know it. And, and then you got a Keller Weatherspoon. Did you did you did you see his uh his uh Presser? his interview today? Yep. Him and Colbert. And they both said Kwaski, yeah. Colbert, and uh Akello all said the same thing. Did you notice that about the front line defense? Yeah, that it's gonna. It's only gonna make them better. They were mm-hmm. talking about uh, instead of uh, instead of covering for five seconds, which is true, mm-hmm. they only gonna cover uh, what two, two. two seconds. And, you know. and the quarterback better be careful if he goes over two. He could be looking up at the ground, up looking up at the sky. He better call about one point three. 
That's about 1.5 seconds. Get rid of that ball, son. Get rid of that ball. Bam! Oh, we told him. Told him. We, we, we <laughs> by, by, by no means are the same 49ers that you're just going to mark on the calendar talking about, oh, yeah, we that's a win. We got this. Yeah, yeah, no. You can't do that. Yeah. Man. You can't do that no more. Uh, better not do that because that underestimating the 49ers now could get a quarterback seriously hurt. And uh, the short pass game, we may have that covered, too. We got some really good linebackers that are active and quick. So go ahead. Run your short pass game. You can't wait for them, them routes to develop downfield. So what you going to do? You can run the ball. Go ahead. Hey, hey Rombo, <laughs> how, 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 how do you how confident are you in, in, in K1 Williams? Do you think oh. – uh, Look at PFF on Kwan Williams. He is a lot better than we even knew. Um, he 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 can do a good job. He's going to deal with uh, DJ Reed this year, though, and he's going to compete with That's him. I understand DJ is going to go for that position. Jimmy Ward is also going to be probably working out in that spot too. So if Kwan rises above all that competition, he is a pretty good. I think he's a good cover man myself for the slot. In the slot. Yeah, you don't want him on the edge. Helps. Yeah, he's a good unless slot cover. Want, unless, you want to, unless you want to put Jason, because Brass can cover any position on the field. Yeah, but I want wow. him on the edge. Yeah, I know. I want him outside. Right. Yeah. You want him on the outside. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I was watching highlights on him. I just love how when he covers a bigger, taller receiver, don't that, you know, he. In coverage, he kind of puts his arm and his hand out there in coverage and deflects the ball. Mm-hmm. You ever, you ever notice that? I noticed, and also I notice his ability to move, track the ball, and keep his receiver right there. He can maneuver so quickly, which is like a gift. Those hips, and, everything and he, spins like on a, on some kind of a spool. It's not it's not human like movements. So, <laughs> and, and you know, you know what else he does that some of our corners don't really do? Mm. He keeps his head, he keeps his head turned around. Well, that's what I'm saying, he can locate the ball, keep that receiver right where he wants him, so the receiver has no advantage. I'm telling you, our guys are going to learn from this guy. Sherman's giving that dude high praises. He says he's pesky. <laughs> he's yeah, pesky. He, 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 he's pesky. <sighs> Looking forward to it. All Jake right, Rob, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go, man. I got, I got right. these kids on me. So. Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm loving it, man. You still got it here, and the baby's sent. And where you at, man? <laughs> Jay, Jay, I'll see you Thursday or Friday. I forgot where I am. I'm, I, I'm in the middle of the week. I'll see you Friday right. night, as we always do. <laughs> All right, Rob. All right, be smooth. You too, fam. Yeah. All right. Night. Oh. And and Jamel and this Jamel and Jamel says we are going to have to sh- we're going to have two shut down corners this year and I can't wait for the season to start. Ah, uh, Jamel, man, Jamel, you feeling all right today? I hope so, fam. Uh, Papa Saavedra, Sa- this was like Savod Saavedra. He said Buckner Ford over ten sacks, maybe Bosa if no health issues. Would that be amazing? You know what, though? The Chiefs had, between those two, two guys, they had over 10 sacks. Um, yeah, Bo, yeah, Bo, yeah, Bosa's got to stay on the field. Uh, in fact, first-year guys usually do. You know, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully he makes it. Mr. Instigator says, so apparently Jordan Matthews broke someone's car window today at OTAs. Yeah, I know. We were talking about that earlier. Uh, Derek Dawson says, we was ranked 11th in passing. You know, I was just saying we wasn't bad. No, no, you know, Derek, you know what's really scary about that stat? The 49ers weren't giving up yards every week, but some of the games, you figure Rodgers, that same play they ran over and over until they got it to work, they, they picked up a lot of yards just on that play. We had, they had spurts. You look at what they did against the Raiders. The Raiders had no day against the 49ers. But then you look at the Cardinals game, and Rosen had a pretty decent game. Although, wait a minute, that first game was pretty bad. They won that game over on turnovers by the 49ers, you know. So it's true. We weren't real bad. We weren't nearly as good as we could be. 
Uh, Samuel Honables, this year our pass rushers should be able to create pressure on the quarterback. Oh, it just goes without saying. Palmer also says, damn, our punter is going to get us some safeties. <laughs> Buckner will get that sack in the end zone. Can you imagine? You know what else is good at that? Uh, Bosa looks like a man possessed. I've seen several plays on his highlight reels. If I was an offensive lineman, Buckner would, I mean, Bosa would, would scare me. You know, he comes in there. And he does look like a guy that's getting paid a little extra or something. He just looks like he's really demonized. I mean, you see both companies throwing the guy out. He's swinging at people until he finally <laughs> You see him grab twice, finally gets this. Both of he takes it personal as the quarterback's trying to throw the ball, doesn't he? That's what I like about him. He's a little strange, crazy, demonic. That's <laughs> so why I had to have him. I don't want him doing that against us. Uh, Derek Dawson Coleman is a, the starter, hands down. He is a bigger Derek dude. Uh, has moves of speed and power. Yeah. I, you know what, Derek? I, I agree, but I want to see them both on the field at the same time. <laughs> One of them could run it, which is probably going to be Coleman, and put Derek in a slot or somewhere where, if nothing else, Jimmy can go to him and let him work in linebacker sitting there saying, uh-oh. <laughs> Coach, what do you expect? <laughs> Rico Styles. The show makes my nights go by a little faster. I'm on the East Coast. I'm from New Jersey, but I live in PA. Now, I love you guys. Night Empire. Rico! Love you back, fam. Appreciate you, too. If I can make your night more fun, man, I feel oh, I'm fulfilled, fam. Appreciate that. And uh, John Delvis says, why is John Lynch not trying to add Eric Berry in the secondary? Our secondary is young, but no experience. And John, my my uh, reading the other day, I was laughing because I said I didn't thought about this. Do you know that Jimmy's played more games in the last couple of years than John Berry has? I mean, Eric Berry. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. So, you know, they're probably thinking we need to bring in him so we can watch both those guys sit down. No. So they're not going after Barry. Um, Trey uh, Boston. If between Barry and Boston, I would go for Boston, but they, they seem to think that Boston is pretty much a hybrid and not fitting as to what they want to do, but I don't really, I think that's an excuse because I would have liked to have seen Trey Boston. I really feel bad about him, but I'm wondering why 32 teams are not interested in Trey Boston. I don't get it. What did he say or do? It's like, I don't get it. Really? He's a good football player. Don't you think so? So, and hey, Daniel go here. if Joe Woods is as good a secondary coach, because I think uh, he is, uh, then I think it uh, can make a, a huge difference on that secondary. I do, too. I could, you can could already see. You know, I just feel like he's we can be more confident in him than Jeff Halfley. I don't think Halfley ever did figure out what they were trying to do. I remember Halfley was Chip Kelly's guy, and I think, wasn't he passed down? That's not, I don't know why the 49ers kept him in the first place, but Halfley was not uh, really a part of the regime from the beginning. Uh, Break Davis, what's up, foul? Rico says, shout out to the Niner Empire and the Puerto Rican Niner Empire. Rico! Puerto Rico! Hey, he says, we coming for that ass this year. <laughs> Max says, did we sign Dante Johnson? I wish it wasn't a question I would even have to address. I don't really know. Other than the fact that, as you probably predicted as I have, and mostly everybody in the 49er Empire, he must be here just to take up space and be part of the 93, because when it comes down to the final count, or 90, should I say, uh, when it comes down to the final 53, if Dante's taking up a roster spot, we'll just wait and see what happens with that. <laughs> Jeff Tan <laughs> yeah Dante da Jeff Tan says Dante's a camp body and Taryn Lewis he said I'm excited the 49ers are giving reps to Tavares Moore at free safety play him at his natural position and watch him make plays I can't wait Justin West his quest for six begins Jimmy G the next goat that just has a nice ring to it Ooh. can you imagine six seven years from now we're sitting there, 
We're remembering back in 2018, we got four more championships, three more championships. We're sitting there thinking, guys, we're back in 2018. We were talking about calling Jimmy the GOAT. We was laughing, yuck, yuck, yuck. Look at this. Reality is taking in. Jimmy G is going to go down. This one all-time 49er greats. He gets one more trophy, and he catches out with the mighty Joe. Can you imagine? Uh, and Justin West says, oh, you got that. And Jim Thoreau says, who do you have starting at the two safeties? <laughs> Jim, you, you just want me to say it, don't you? All right. I'm going to go ahead and put Kwaski in the box. And with after careful thought, consideration, rumination, I thought to myself, who would be the ideal candidate? Who would be the guy that would get the job done? Who is the guy I could absolutely trust to make the plays that need to be made in order for us to get to the next level? And it didn't take me long to come to a conclusion. I said, bring that man that was born from a lady named Mrs. Ward. Bring in Jimmy! Why do I hear crickets? <laughs> Osvaldo Zamora, let's get Barry, Trey Boston. Oh, man. Hey, we don't, we don't hear any word about it. You know what, though? I have a feeling the 49ers are going to finally break down and bring in Trey Boston. I don't know. I got a feeling. I know Eric Berry's not coming. I'm pretty sure of that. But Trey Boston, they may finally say, you know, Kyle, this is John. Maybe just bring him in for a workout. John, all right, what? Guys, can we? Can I have a word with John, please? You know, because I, I don't know who's holding it back. I wonder if there's any conversation going on between the coaches as to about Trey Boston. But I still wonder why 31 other teams aren't talking to him either. Brunel Jacobs says Tevin Coleman looks raw AF in that red and gold. Ah! I, I slow music says go Niners, red and gold blooded from Oslo Music. Sup? I would pronounce that right too. E I Z L O. Michael Ellis, what's up, Niner Empire? And hello, Ron Bo from over here in Texas. Talent. Wait, wait, wait. Texas, that's, that's Hawaii. The Texas bring it in. Longhorns. What's up, fam? But, you know, we stop at the college because ain't nobody giving no horns for no Cowboys. 49 er fans living in the Dallas area every day, walking into establishments, and if they're wearing their colors, why don't the cowboy fans, why don't they, whatever they do, it got to get up and come over and say, let me shake your hand, partner. Any man that will walk around in a Texas establishment wearing 49 colors has got my respect. That takes a lot of nerve, son. Good luck to you. Because <laughs> I know Texans, you know. <laughs> it's like a backhanded slap. You know, it's a backhanded compliment. I got relatives from Texas, okay? Hey, uh, Danny, let's say a 49ers fan, 5249. Putting more in is that uh, uh, natural free safety spot is a good move. He will have all of OTAs and probably some of training camp to show that job is, is his, not Jimmy Hospital Ward. <laughs> he goes on to say, Ward has a heart and desire, but his body, <laughs> minds him a song, but his body is just not holding up. I will, I will cheer for every 49er, but I'm really hoping more takes uh, the job from him and Ward is just a backup if, the, uh, if he stays on the team. Is that, what, is that, what is the name of that song? My mind, my mind is saying yes, but my body is saying no. <laughs> Y'all ain't really. I can He's got a little bit more respect for my boy, man. I'm telling you, man, he's going to be okay. It was an accident. He had a moment of foolishness. He'll be okay. Sir Garcia, what's up? And Jim Thoreau says, our safety should be Moore and Marcel Harris. <laughs> hey, you know what, though? Uh, this could eventually be an eventuality, actually. 
the way our safety's been dropping like flies the last couple of years. I just want to see the same safety on the field more than two or three weeks out of the season. We we went through a, a double double digits in safeties last year, and I didn't even know we had that many safeties. Coach Tim says, actually, Salah said Jimmy didn't dive. He ran into another player in his press. You know what? I think I did hear or see something like that. I think I read something like that, too. Somebody tried to make that correction. So he didn't make contact with somebody. Okay. So anyway, uh, at any rate, Jimmy's out, and hopefully he'll be back and uh, fully healthy. They say 12 weeks is just an added precaution. He could probably be fine in eight weeks. Apparently, And from Dre actually came in and described the uh, procedure that's going to take place on that on that area of his uh, collarbone. And it's more of a, a fusion situation more than it is just a, a complete break that they're going to have to uh, I think it has something to do with screws, I guess. So, yeah, he'll, he'll be fine. Because I would worry about something like that being kind of fragile until, you know, we'll see. Local Fort Niners fan, I would like to apply to be Ward's attorney and head of defense. Local Fort Niners fan, you can come on in and, and, and be a part and join our firm of Dewey, and Cheatham, and Howell, and also Puddin'. I don't. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I I'm gonna have to change his name. We just get, he, he can't be. He's got to be one or the other. So, uh, actually, his, his name is Buford Chewy. No, I said Buford. 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 Buford Cheatham is better. Yeah, Buford Cheatham. And you can come in. Your Fortnite friend. You can come in and and be. Uh, you could be Dewey, and uh, friend will be section. So you know there you go. So uh, yeah, I'm liking that. Fam, on behalf of the firm of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe, our newest member, local 49ers fan. Jimmy, I hope you're sleeping well tonight. If you're watching the program, I got a feeling you do because you know how much I love you. Boy, I tell you what, you're going to come back in and you're going to prove everybody wrong and me right. You know what I'm saying? We're looking forward to it, too. Get your rest now. Take your vitamins and drink your milk because I'm, you know. Hey, fam, hey, I'll see you Friday. When I, I'm, I'm just gonna, I can't make it back tomorrow. I would, but there's going to be more. Uh, practice going on, and we'll see more of what develops. You know, because we'll, at some point, one unit versus the other, we're going to see what happens, right? All right, fam. Just have a wonderful night, fam. You know how much I love you. <sighs> Hit that like, fam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't forget to like, because I feel like it. Likes it, likes it, you know what I'm saying?